Hey, Riri. I got to get everything. Let's see. There's a glare right here. Let's see that. I didn't know that this was going to be so shiny. <coughs> so shiny and glary. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> You like the new folk? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm trying to get the contract. I'm trying to get it to show up okay here. Let's see. That's too. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> yeah. One ringy dingy, two ringy dingy. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. So yeah, I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and I got some stickers on clearance, but I also got this poster. It's kind of big. <laughs> it's bigger than my length of my thing there, but it was on all the posters were on clearance for 75% off. So I had to get this one and I'm going to write in here coffee and art in the morning with some, um, permanent ink in there. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Teresa, I I know this is going to sound terrible. <laughs> I keep your letters, but I throw away the envelopes <laughs> and I threw away your address. I need your address to send you um, some, uh, what do you call it? TN inserts, travelers inserts. So can you email me your address again, Teresa? I feel terrible, but <laughs> it is what it is. Here's my, um, yeah, there it is. Yeah, S yeah. send me your address so I can mail it. Because I want to mail, I got this sitting here and I go, I can't mail, I can't, I got to find Teresa's address. So I looked and looked for all your envelopes. And yeah, <clears throat> so I need it again. Thank you so much. So, yeah, I'll send you two. <laughs> <clears throat> I got to get my voice going, you know. Um, so yeah, I sent out a, I sent out all those postcards I made on Monday. Those went out uh, yesterday. Sent out all those postcards, some other happy mail. I'm working on some watercolor things, so I'm working on a lot of stuff to send out. So I got a pile of stuff to send out. So yeah. Hi, Jane. Okay, Sherry Bug, Rachel, Cher let's see, Little Sister Cheryl, Joey, Christine, Nancy, Pacola, hi Pacola, Darla. I know I'm probably missing some people. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't think about how glary this might be. So, yeah, I don't know. I might have to, maybe if I put some matte medium over it so it's not shiny, because it's going to have that glare from all my lights. You know, <clears throat> so we'll see. But I thought it was so cool as an old time rotary dial. <laughs> How many of you had one of these kind of phones? Hi, Janet. <clears throat> I know, isn't it cool? It's just a big poster. And they're normally, I saved the thing to show you guys. There, it's normally $24.9. It comes on a big piece of cardboard. So the cardboard has a dual purpose because I can cut that up for backing in mail. But it's regularly $24.99. I got it for $6.25. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, it's $6.25. $6 so, yeah, I had to get this. It's just so cool. Yeah, those were the days. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah a party line you had a party line grandma i think had a party line uh at one time uh -huh. <laughs> happy wednesday barbara happy hump day goodness <laughs> so anyway yeah I, I got one i got one for my desk 
But like I said, I didn't think about the, you know, it doesn't look real shiny, but it has enough shine to put a glare there. So. <laughs> Where's Bob? Bob's right here. He's he's hanging. He's hanging. He's here hanging out with um, Andy. <laughs> That's a, that's a good, I should take a picture of this and this should be what I post. Uh, here, let me make this one real quick. Let me take a picture of this for Twitter. <laughs> let's see. Oh, it's such a glare. Let me see. Let me turn off this light for just a minute. Let me move that light. For, let me move these lights for just a minute while I take a quick picture. Well, it's still got light right here. Let me turn that one off. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to take <laughs> get under the camera. Uh, where's the other light coming from? Okay, let me turn this light off. Hang on, it's going to get dark for a minute. Nope, that's not going to work. There's still one light somewhere. I think it's that one. All right, hang on, that'll work. That'll be okay. All right, uh, let's turn all my lights back on now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're BFFs, Andy and Bob. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's crop this down here. So, how's everybody doing? Halloween, Jane, uh, Mama Four, Ray, Riri. Let's see. I know I'm probably missing some people. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> so I thought, and Denise sent me a picture of Boo this morning. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Um, let, me, let me see here. I think I had a couple pictures to show you. Let me do a contrast on that and there we go. That's better. Hi, Kim and uh, Mom Munson. Mom Munson. <laughs> Hi, Diana. So what I thought we do? I have a bunch of stickers, the clearance stickers that I got. Not too many. I didn't go too crazy. I got some clearance stickers uh, at Hobby Lobby. And uh, then I thought we would do maybe some lettering and some creative. We'll put this under Society of Idea Collectors, Pacola. So maybe I'll draw a couple more names out of the bowl. <laughs> um, sh someone showed Bob yesterday. Took me a minute to figure out who Bob Ross. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, young Bob Ross. Okay. You liked what, me walking around uh, Blick with Bob Ross? Yeah, that's where I got him. Isn't he so cute? I mean, it's just so, like, you know. You know, you can just do so many things with him. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. <laughs> Lori. Let's see. Uh, who else? Uh <laughs> So what have y'all been up to? What are y'all working on? How's everything going? It, it, has school started for most of you? I mean, for your kids or, you know. Uh, let's paint some happy little trees. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Hi, Teresa, Crafting Chaos. Hi, Kenneth. How you doing? Kenneth, school not, has school started for you in your district or your area yet? Let's see. Who else? I'm trying to read some chat. Uh, Ray D. is practicing watercolor and cleaning house. Um, he needs an easel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he does. <clears throat> doing your diamond painting. I got to finish that one. I, you know, I've only, I'm only on my second one. I gave the first one to my granddaughter 
framed it and gave it to her. And then I'm, I'm, I have one that I'm in progress, but I haven't worked on it very much. Um, oh, is Rage Zero One One Three um, doing another series, Teresa? Or are you doing an old series? <clears throat> are you doing an old series, or she started a new one? Because I didn't see it. If she did, I'm, I'm good. I'm glad if she is. Okay, Ann says students are back, but not me. I retired. <laughs> oh, Teresa Crafting Chaos is working on ATCs for a swap. Hi, Julie. Happy hump day. Um, how uh, is, can y'all hear me okay? I always set my uh, blue snowball to the same level every morning. Well, every stream. And so uh, I hope it's good. I noticed that yesterday, though, I went back to uh, double check chat or from uh, Monday, rather, and double. I try to go back and, and scroll through the chat, see if there's new people or anybody I missed or something I missed. And toward the end of the show, it got like not I, I'll say fuzzy, but it got, yeah, unclear. <laughs> it got a little uh, out of it seemed out of focus toward the end. So I don't know what happened at the second half of Monday's stream seemed a little a little uh, off so hopefully we're good today because it, it does I doesn't show that on my screen when I'm streaming it all looks nice and clear it's when I went back that I noticed that it was a little um, a little fuzzy at the end so I don't know Louise says working in a million uh, working in a million sloths coloring book with Crayola Super Tips and Twistable Crayons. Oh my gosh, you're going to do the whole book? <laughs> Louise, you're going to do, are you going to color all one million sloths? <laughs> oh, hi, Midnight. How you doing? <laughs> hi, BDI Beth. Working on painting birdhouses and rocks. Did you post some new ones? I saw some other ones, uh, Beth. I don't remember if it was on Instagram or if it was. I think I showed them last week. Are they on Instagram or Facebook or both? I don't remember. Hi, Journey. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you doubt that you're going to color all one million sloths? <laughs> Just taking it nice and slow, are we, Louise? <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Uh, Vicky French, Kimberly. Bob Ross has a coloring book. Yes, yes. I see, I've seen it. I didn't get it because, yeah. <laughs> I just No, I don't want to color Bob Ross's. I, I, if I was going to do something Bob Ross, I would try to, like, follow along with one of his paintings or something like that. So, yeah. Um, who else am I missing? So if you're here for the first time or, um, you, you know, you're new to my channel, uh, I stream every Monday and Wednesday. I come on about 8.30, a you know, a little early, so I have time to say, you know, good morning to everybody. So I, I say hi, good morning, ask people what they've been up to and uh, before we work on anything. We usually start by 9. And, um, you know, it, it's a chat show. I'm chatting with the live chat. I do keep my chat up the after the, after the vi video renders take an hour or two to fully render but after the video fully renders and it's up on youtube the chat is there so you're if you're talking in chat it's going to be there <laughs> and uh, that way you can if you're watching the show you can follow along with the chat so you see what we're talking about so uh because i'm you know interacting with the people in the chat so <laughs> my mailman pacola yeah he's good <laughs> Uh, yeah, now I figured that out. I know. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out. Orla, Orla um, sent me some couple of gift cards, and she said, "Did your mailman like the mail?" And I went, "My mailman? Like, did she want me to give one of these gift cards to my mailman?" Completely forgetting that Hubster's called. I would call Hubster my mailman. <laughs> it just didn't just didn't click that morning. Um. <laughs> uh. So anyway, 
so I guess we could get started. Let me tilt my screen just a little so it's not a glare. Hi, Holly D. School three weeks. Yeah, our, our started the first, I think it was the first or second day of August. Denise sent me a picture of Boo this morning. Here, let me see. Um, where is it? Oh, that's in my messages. Hang on, guys. Yeah, she's getting ready for school. There's my granddaughter at the refrigerator filling her water bottle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Denise sends pictures every day of her or, or her lunch, <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people does it doesn't start till after Labor Day, Jersey. But here in Georgia, um, they they have uh, they start back the first week of August, but they have more time off during the year. So like they only have two months off in summer, but they have two weeks at, in at Christmas, two weeks in spring, two week. You know, they have they just space it out a little more. I guess they figure kids are going to forget what they learned. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, but Boo is, um, she's, a um, uh, a, a junior. And so she has, she has split, um, she goes to college half the day and she does high school half a day. So by the time she graduates high school next year, she'll have a full year of college as well. So, um, yeah, she goes half, half day to college, half day to, um, and she drives herself everywhere. I mean, you know, she looks little, but, you know, she's she's almost 17. <clears throat> yeah, so they don't forget stuff, I guess. So I was trying to see if there's anything else. Um, oh, uh, Annie sent me. Annie sent me this. Let's see, my grandson out in L.A. Um, let me find that. I don't know. I just share stuff with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, use all caps. Thank you, Pacola. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, where is it? So, I don't know. Do any of y'all watch Face Off? Do y'all watch Face Off? Well, my son, there's my grandson in the middle, met two of the contestants from face off from nico and uh what was it? nico and um cat nico and cat so he knew immediately moved in down the street so he said he wanted his picture taken with nico and cat <laughs> so it's kind of fuzzy there you go so anyway i thought that was cute so that's my grandson out in in hollywood i know hi jerry <laughs> <laughs> I know, right, Julie? They grow up so fast. I'm telling you, you got little kids, little grandkids. Enjoy them. They turn around, literally, and they're grown up. <clears throat> Hi, Faithful Mess. Faithful Mess, I watched your video of your room. Faithful is uh, Faithful Mess is moving her... Um, she moved her room, her art space from one room to another. It's a big job. <laughs> You're doing good, Faithful. Hang in there. Maybe you've got it done by now. But when I watched the video, I thought, bless her heart. That is a lot of work. A lot of work. <laughs> You're doing good. Hi, Linda. Uh, let's see. Kanika. Kanika Kenny. Hi, Kanika. Did I say hi to you, Jersey? I think I said hi to you. <laughs> I just saw you say something else. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of a sherry bug. Who else have I, I might have missed? So anybody else I missed, welcome. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Not done. Hanging by a thread. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, I gave you a thumbs up. I didn't comment. But uh, yeah, I watched it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh, faithful mess. If y'all don't follow her, she's uh, redoing her uh, art space. 
And uh, yeah, it's a big job. She goes, look at my head's shiny. I have, I'm shiny. <laughs> she was sweating. It was so hot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Like I said just a minute ago, I got this was on sale. This poster was on sale at a uh, Hobby Lobby. Let me move um, Andy and uh, Bob. Uh, <laughs> I'll put them over here to the side. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about. Let me see. Can I, can I do something about this? I don't know if I can. Uh, let me let me try something here. Let me try to put this up a little. There we go. No, it's still going to have. A, glare i'm trying to get rid of the glare i'll leave it here for a minute <laughs> i'll cover it up with another white piece of paper um yeah 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 for dialing bigfoot oh my gosh linda i'm gonna put coffee and art in the morning in here so anyway uh, again it was normally 24.99 all the posters at hobby lobby are marked down to 75 percent off so i got it for six dollars and 25 cents so i just saved this just to show y'all I don't keep packaging anymore. Um, let's see. <laughs> and I've already unpackaged some of this. So, but I'm going to show you, I got stickers. That's all I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to pull out some creative books, some flow books. I did get the new flow magazine. So I thought we would just talk some creativity and I want to do some lettering. So I, I got out some of my uh, already punched flow papers so I can practice some lettering. These will go in. I have, um, I have multiple books with the ring binders, you know, the discs. And so these are the uh, pages that I use if I'm, you know, want to put something in, put something in those ring binders. Uh, one is my prayer journal. One is my note taking journal. And they're both this fat. <laughs> and so I keep my paper. These are already punched papers ready to go so that I can work on a piece of paper not in the journal, but in the pay on a paper and then put it in. So we're going to do some lettering. I think we'll do some lettering. And, um, how many kids do you think would even know what that is? Um, you know, I don't know. I think most people know what it is. I mean, you know, it, it with it, everything's out there. I mean, how could you not have heard of a rotary dial phone at some point? Now, maybe if you're three years old, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. You got the Happy Planner Punch? Oh, yeah. I hope you used a coupon, Jersey. Did you use a 40 or 50% off coupon? Because they're kind of pricey, the punches. Jersey's talking about the punch here. Let me get. And you can get the same kind of punch like at Staples. It's the Arc Punch, but it's like it'll just be black. Uh, but the Create 365, you know, they're pretty. And so you can punch. You can punch the um, this kind of punch with it. So use a coupon. Good. Okay. I did too. <laughs> I wouldn't have bought it without a coupon. All right. So this is the stickers. Um, uh, the Hobby Lobbies are clearing out different things at different stores. Some stores had, you know, and I think they're going to be kind of rolling it out again like they always do. Uh, and different stores seem to put different things on clearance. I think it's just whatever they have a lot of that they want to get rid of. Some stores may have more stickers than others. Some have more paper. You know, it just depends. Art supplies, paint. They have different things that maybe they're overstocked, and that's different across the country. So different stores have different things clearanced out. So my store only really had the posters. They were all 75% uh, percent off. They had, I don't know what was over in the fabric, yarn. I, I think that's some yarn, but I didn't, I don't really do that. So I didn't really go shop over there. Uh, over in the planner and the sticker section, all the stickers, well, not, I shouldn't say all, a lot of the stickers were clearanced, clearanced out. And uh, when I got there, yes, I went yesterday. So I guess maybe, I don't know when they, maybe it was Monday um, that they started with the stickers and the stickers, hi, Shauna, they had big chunks of stickers already gone. I mean, big uh, empty spaces. So um, somebody knew about it and went down there on Monday. <laughs> so I'll show you what I got. Um, some of these like the paper, now anything paper studio also always goes on sale every other, every third week, I think it's 50% off paper studio is a hobby lobby brand and agenda 52 is a line of, 
uh, planners, planners there. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little here. Okay. And um, now do I need to refocus or are we good? So these, uh, these, are, these were over in the planner section, as were these stickers, these stickers. Let's see. The happy, I think this was over in this. Some of these were, okay. So these were all in the, ha in the planner section. And then these were over in the sticker section. I've already pulled them out of the packaging and I've already used some. But these stickers, let me show you these real quick just so I can get them off the table. These were normally $4.99 and they're the lower case. And uh, so it's a sheet of lowercase. They're normally $4.99 for on sale for $1.24. And they look very, um, they're, they look very dimensional, but they're really not. They're, they're just slightly dimensional. So I really like these silver ones. And again, I got two packs of those, uh, normally $4.99 for $1.24. Then these, these were big, heavy Mama Jamba. These are the um, me and my big idea stickers. And they are the... Um, uppercase and the number so there's a lot in there's a lot in this set and they're normally um 7.99 for a dollar 99 so and there's a lot of stickers in these and it's like weighty so i really like these gold ones so i got the two packs of those for a dollar 24 no i mean uh a dollar 99 regularly um regularly $7.99. So I thought that was a good deal. Um, yeah, sometimes I do. Sometimes I, I miss the sales and stuff. I try to, you know, try to catch them every now and then. And uh, so I really like those gold ones. So those are really, those are pretty, and they're a good size, you know, in what, inch and a half or so. So I really like those. So those are the, st in the sticker section, which I said was really starting to get picked over. They were, that those stickers were, bam, they were, they were gone. All right. So then I got these, these three um, were over in the uh, planner section, which is one aisle over in our store from the stickers. Remember guys, put it in caps. If you want to talk to me, I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, I, I will miss people, but you know, I try not to. Okay, so I got these stickers. These are mini sticker tablets, and they're normally $6.99 for $1.24. It's a little pack, and it's just got little, um, you know, little hearts. And I think this is a faith one. This is a faith one. And these are matte. These are very matte. Now, I, I used to really like matte stickers where there's no shine to them. But lately, I've been liking the shiny ones in my planners uh and i say planner i don't mean i use planners i love planners i use planners i don't do dated planners i mean i date things but i don't use the kind where you got a square every day i don't do that i try that once for a year uh-uh didn't work for me so nothing wrong i love my planners i love all the stickers and the papers and the planner accoutrements. I just don't like to do a diary type planner thing, you know? So anyway, um, I used to like the flat matte ones and these are minis. These are minis. Like look at that little inspire. See how small that is there. Um, but anyway, it was normally $6.99. I would not have bought it for $6.99, but I bought it for $1.24. <laughs> So, you know, you got to watch for them. And it's real easy when you walk through Hobby Lobby to look through look for those orange stickers. It's so you just spot them a mile away. You can spot those orange stickers in any department. You walk down an aisle and you just look for orange stickers <laughs> and see what, you know. And there's other things. I just didn't need anything else, guys. There were other things that, that were on sale, um, you know, clearanced out here and there. You know, they might have had a, one little brand of paint or, you know, and it, different stores have complete sections that have a lot of stuff clearanced out. Like in my store, it was the stickers, but I just didn't get a whole lot. because so I got, I trust me, I got a lot of stickers. So um, let's see, who am I missing? Lulu, Rochelle, Scoobs. Curly T. Oh, what a cute name. Curly T. Oh, I love that name. Curly T. 
Lulu. Let's see who else am I missing? Um, someone said hi, Dev. I don't know if they which Dev they mean. Devrin Rex or uh, Dev Color uh, Modernist Colorist. I just I didn't see. Uh, let's see who else am I missing? Hi, Kathy Bird. Uh, oh, Devin Rex. Okay, it's Devin Rex. Uh, hi, Pr hi, Prisma Color Me. Let's see. How is Terry the Cougar? She uh, emailed me and she's posted it on Facebook and Twitter. She's going to have to have shoulder surgery um, sometime in the, in the fall. I don't think she knows an exact date yet. So, yeah. I told her, feel free to come lurk and, you know, because on the computer bothers her shoulder after any length of time. I said, so come just watch. Don't talk. The mods will hold your mod chair for you till you get back. <laughs> so if y'all follow her on Twitter, Instagram, you could send her a nice little, you know, thinking of you. Uh, let's see. I know. I know. And there's Terry L. Hi, Terry. I'm, I'm trying to catch everybody. All right. So now these are over in the planner section. I'm going to open them now. I, I left them in here just to, so I could uh, show you the packaging. But now I'm going to take them out. Um, these are bookmarks. I, these are my favorite kind of bookmarks. I love the magnetic book vi uh, book vibes. I read this. Good vibes. Uh, uh, magnetic book um, bookmarks. After surgery, she's looking for a three to four month recuper recuperating time. Yes, Ter uh, to Julie Topaz. Uh, Faithful Mestiti, have you ever seen Dumpster? Yes, I have watched Dumpster Dive. I watched Steve and what's his wife's name? Steve and Stephanie? Stephanie and Steve? Yeah, I watched Steve and Stephanie. If y'all if y'all like to watch Dumpster Dive, I don't know if you've ever watched a Dumpster Diving uh, video, but uh, I don't. I I've done dumpster diving way back in like when when I was younger. <laughs> I don't dumpster dive now, uh, and they're grandparents too. Steve and uh, and they look young though. They don't look like their grandparents. Steve and Stephanie, um, and their grandkids are probably pretty young because I think they look for baby toys and stuff. But anyway, they dumpster dive and um, they find some good stuff. Uh, did you ever get those camel stickers for Hump Day? Um, no, but I do have a couple. There's some camels on this one. <laughs> anyway, they find really good stuff that you would be surprised what people throw away. I mean, Staples, Barnes and Noble. There's a lot, you know, they find a lot of good stuff and they have two channels. So <clears throat> if you find one of their channels, look for their other one too. I don't know which one does more dumpster diving, but Steve and Stephanie, if somebody has a link, feel free to, you know, tell us the name. So anyway, um, you dump. Okay, so uh, Julie Topaz dumpster dive at Purdue when the students move out. Yeah, and there's another guy, Taco Stacks. He does. He's not really a dumpster diver. He's more of a, a trash picker. And so when people like at uh, that, and he does metal. He collects a lot of metal and recycles metal at the recycling plant. He has a big truck. He has a big van, and he's so he recycles uh, metal mostly, but he also picks um, on on days where they put things out for for people to pick up. You know, not necessarily for the trash guy to you know, or, or you know, um, not necessarily go in the garbage to the landfill, but for people to grab. And especially like at the end of school year, when the colleges, the 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 kids put all kinds of stuff out there to throw away. And um, so anyway, Taco Stacks is his name. And he's, he's a young guy. He's really cool. Um, and he, he finds some good stuff. And he also sells at flea markets and things like that. So, yeah. So if there's any other cool, don't forget uh, Alex on um, uh, Curiosity Inc. You know, he was the one that bought the hoarder house who turned out to be Mary the Famous Potter who was um, a famous potter back in the, I don't know, 60s, 70s. Anyway, um, he bought her house and restored it, redid it, cleaned it out, spent some months doing it. And, uh, well, he's now is uh, bought an old uh, store that he's turning into um, his general mercantile. 
and um, he sells antiques. So if y'all Curiosity Inc. is another one that's good. Let's see. Hi, Esta. Hi, Corner Lot Creations. Who else? Journey. I know I'm probably missing people. Put it in caps so I see you. So those are good ones. Scoob said I had a dumpster dive for my mom's cell phone. Luckily it was there. Oh my gosh, Scoobs. <laughs> Hi, Linda McAllister. So anyway, I really like these. These are my favorite um, type of bookmarks with, with the uh, metallic, you know, metallic um, type. So I got a pack of those. This one has good vibes only. This one, I'm going to take them off because I don't keep packaging anymore. Look at this donut. Look at donut. <laughs> Hoorah. <laughs> ASAP. Uh, just a little uh, triangle, a little marbleized looking triangle. Hubster likes these too. A little coffee, a little coffee um, cup. Yeah, no, isn't it cute? And a little, uh, I need to, I'll have to send this one to Terry. A cougar. And let's say if Terry's not, if she's watching, let's let's give uh, Terry a shout out here. Um, because, you know, I, I kind of miss doing this. I kind of miss doing this when Terry's not here. So there you go. That's for you, Terry. <laughs> so anyway, I really like these little bookmarks. So I got those for $1.49 regularly, $5.99. So regularly $5.99 for $1.49. Because I read multiple books at the same time, um, having multiple bookmarks is a good thing. Uh, Christine said, I found a new channel, amazing art furniture, handmade pots called Positive Couple. Okay. Positive Couple make art furniture. Hey, Colleen. Carrie Ann. Kimberly557. I think I said hi to you. So then the next thing I got was this, um, this is another paper studio. It's regularly $9.99. Again, I would not have bought this for $9.99, but I bought it for $2.49. It's quite, quite a lot of stickers in there. And again, the llamas and the camels and the cactus are so cute. Say the drama for your llama. <laughs> Love that. I should put, I should put some little things here. Save the drama for your llama. I almost want to put that on here. Coffee and art in the morning. I might do that. I, I think I'm going to do that. Not that we ever have drama here because we don't we don't put up with drama. But I think I'm going to put. There we go. <laughs> Hi, G. And G also um, probably could use some thoughts and prayers. She's uh, she her writing arms in a cast. So uh, I don't know all the details of it, but she posted it on Instagram. So, yeah, she's, I don't know, G, G how long is your arm going to be in a cast? Six, what, what was it, six weeks? Longer? I don't remember. Do you ever cut art pages into bookmarks instead of art cards? Not really. Um, I've done a few, Sherry, and we have done um, <coughs> Bin Bin bookmarks, which... Uh, ben has a channel and a cinder block studios and he would send us cast off of some of his acrylic paintings and we would turn those into bookmarks. But no, I usually just make art cards because bookmarks, just the format of them doesn't, isn't conducive to my, you know, space and those kind of scenes. Very, I mean, I could do some and I have a couple, but it's not, it's not as fun to me. So I really don't uh, make bookmarks with them. But you could do that, add some ta add some strings, some sorry silk, you know, some fibers, make it a bookmark. Uh, let's see, what am I missing? Uh, I said hi to Rachel. Did admit what happened, Jeannie? Something happened to Jeannie. So sorry about that. I didn't see what that was. <clears throat> not sure, still trying to see the surgeon. Okay, well, keep us posted or I'll try to find, uh, follow you, what's going on with you on IG. G, on IG. G on IG. 
Yeah, I'm drinking. I drink cranberry juice every day, and I got my coffee and cranberry juice here. Bye, Curly. I love that name, Curly. Come back and visit us again, Curly T. I love that. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I like that. Save the drama for your llama. And uh, so these are shiny. See, I like these. Now, I don't know that all of them are shiny. No, some are matte. So this pack has kind of like half shiny, half matte. But I really like, I really like this. I really like this one. Oh, here, this one. I'll send this one to Eileen from the girl gang. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> uh, Eileen does not like flamingos. So, of course, we tease her with flamingos. Anyway, there's the girl gang, girls. Uh, there's a mermaid in tr uh, training that, like, that always reminds me of Z. Oh, look, mood. Little camel, meow. So these are real, <clears throat> really cute. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I, I sleep with the fan blowing in my face, and that makes me stopped up in the morning. <laughs> I can't help but I cannot have no air. Um. <laughs> So, okay. Uh, yeah, put in caps if there's something important you want me to see. Oh, wait. Uh, CL said, I heard Jean, heard Jean a broken arm and got the wrong Jean. Oh, Jean broke her arm. The other Jeannie broke her arm? Mama Four? Which Jeannie broke her arm? I, mi I missed that too. Here's some more mermaids in training. More little mermaids. Some unicorns, another mermaid, dreams can come true. So, so cute, isn't it? And this one has a little, uh, it's kind of satiny. Not you, Mama Four? Okay. Oh, G. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Okay. So the other G. Okay. You're talking about G, not Genie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I knew about G. I'll go follow her on Instagram and give her some, some hugs. G Brody. I know, aren't they, Jersey? Nope, not today. Treat yourself, but first coffee. So again, guys, I do more note-taking, listing, journaling. I don't really do planner in the sense of every day fill out a little square. So all these are good for all that. Also, if you do, um, if you have a quote book, if you do Bible journaling, if you do uh, scripture writing, if you do um, any kind of journaling, these are all good for all that. They're all interchangeable for anything you write and decorate, right? You're welcome, G. <clears throat> Some little arrows. Look at these right here. This is cute. A little lipstick, french fries, a pizza, another donut there, hamburgers, tacos. <laughs> And then these are just little squares. See, they're kind of the size that will fit in planners, right? And every planner has a little bit different size because they want you to buy their stickers to fit their planner squares. But um, I, I never mind going over a square either, you know, because I don't do a dated thing. So I'll write, you know, fill up the whole, I can fill up a whole month of just writing and just ignore the squares. Or just do little notes in different squares or little quotes. Put a little quote in different squares and then decorate uh, other squares with little stickers. The sticker books at Tuesday morning are always $6.99. Hobby Lobby never has them that low. Yeah, um, because they're clearanced out. That's why at Faithful Mass, they're having a clearance out sale. And so that's why they're on. Uh, cl there's clearanced out right now. So that's why they're so cheap. Happy hump day. See that needs to maybe maybe we could put that on uh could put that on the back of Phil here. There we go. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> uh, and then there's like these little strips. You know, you can decorate the tops of your page. You know, take one and decorate the tops. Here we go. Would this be pretty? These little sunglasses, like right here at the top. You know, you just decorate, you journal. 
and then in between, like if you put a quote here, another strip of, of another strip and another quote, just, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Pineapples. Pineapples and cactus are real popular motifs right now. <clears throat> they have been for a while. Here's some different food popsicles. Look at that one. I just want that one you just want to bite into right now. Looks like one of those swirly popsicles. Oh, that looks so good. I have to look for some of those. <laughs> that popsicle. Uh, <laughs> there's one with some uh, lemons frozen in it. These look yummy. So do those donuts. Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> Hi, Sus. Hope you're healing up as well. Uh, faithful to stick. Okay, yes, I saw that. Um, nope, not today. Bananas for you, date night, another flamingo, but first coffee, pizza night. These are like little tabs if you want to, if you keep track of that kind of thing. See, I don't do that. I have uh, Janet and I probably have pizza. Oh, I don't know. I need it every other day. I have it at least once a week. I like pie five pizza. Janet doesn't have pie five, so she's jello. I always send her a picture too. I make a point of sending her a picture of my pizza. <laughs> oh, Janet, are you still, are you around? <laughs> Some more little tabs, just little, you know, sleep in, date night, um, today to do, you know, little tabs. Why don't you just torture Seymour? I don't know. Do I, let me go. Let me look in Messenger real quick. I'll trust you if I can find a picture of Pi 5. Uh, let me see. The last time I sent Janet a picture of Pi 5. Sounding really good. I'm uh, I'm thinking that maybe uh, I might need to get that today. Well, maybe I can talk upstart coming. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I send Janet. We were talking about going to the... Uh, Talking about going to the uh, Bigfoot Museum. So we we're uh, swapping different pictures of Bigfoot. <laughs> but anyway, let me see. I want to show you a picture of the pizza. Let's see. Do I have one? Do I keep one? <laughs> we didn't make it. We didn't make it to the... Um, Here's, here's a half a pizza. We didn't make it to the Bigfoot Museum because we didn't feel like spending five hours in the car. So we just went to uh, the Varsity and B and Blick, you know, the from the you saw the videos. Well, here's this is a pie five. This is a half a pie five pizza, and it's like a buffet. You just tell them what you want on it. So you go down the line. Look at that: jalapenos, tomato, um, you know, uh, different peppers, onions. Look at that! Look at that crust. So anyway, <laughs> I know me too, Janet. I love me some pizza. <laughs> so if you have a pie five pizza, go go visit. Okay. So and then a whole page of uh, flamingos and <laughs> swans. So anyway, again, this was regularly nine ninety nine for two forty nine. So yeah, got that one. Let's see what else to get. Oh, uh, last thing I got here, and this was normally nineteen ninety nine. Okay, this is from the Happy Planner. Happy Planner stuff seems to be more expensive. But anyway, uh, it's normally $19.95. I got this for $4.99. So I thought that was good. And um, this, you know, Happy Plan, they, they do have stuff like this at Tuesday morning for cheaper stuff. <laughs> okay, Janet. And so the Happy Planner, 380 stickers. And um, so they have just different... Um, this one's on prayer. This one's on blessing, faith. and But look at all the different washi tape uh, strips. And they're the shim, they're not, I mean, they're the satiny kind. So they're not matte. Now, I don't know if they all are that way. I think they all are. So which, th those seem to be more expensive. The stickers that are sheen, have a sheen to them, rather than the flat matte ones. So they have shorter little washi tapes. Um so just all different little washi tapes. I, I love the washi tapes. And then there's tabs. Oh, let's see. Hold it up a little. I know they're great deals, right? And they have all different ones. You know, I didn't go crazy and get one of every kind. 
you know, there's all different ones of washi tape and, you know, ones that have to do with school, moms, faith, uh, what other ones? Uh, there's all different ones. And uh, so, you know, I just got ones that I really liked, uh, really liked them. So tabs, some stickers, like there's a big prey right there. <clears throat> so I really like these. Again, these are like made to fit in the little squares, made to fit in your little uh, planner boxes. Uh, hi, Anastasia. We try to watch... As long as Wi-Fi permits. Okay, thank you. Anastasia, holding the holler creations. Gotta love that name. Hi, Kalora. Happy hump day. <laughs> so, um, and then here's some larger washies. So, yeah, isn't that cool, guys? There's a lot in this. 380, I think it said. So there's a lot, a lot. And like I said, normally $19.99 for $4.99. So you get quite a bit in there. So, yeah. Uh, the number of the ISBN is 6 seven three eight zero eight zero zero two zero zero four so yeah got that so those are my planners stickers and my bookmarks yeah and i uh, didn't spend that much five six seven eight nine ten probably, probably fifteen dollars maybe 50, less than 20. uh not including the poster the poster was six and a quarter regularly uh $24.99 so I got the poster uh for my for my channel here <laughs> hi Jeanette let's see who else I'm sure I'm missing some people there's Eileen good Eileen you, you came in a little late you're probably glad you did <laughs> you didn't want to see those pink birds did you all right so let me move this up to the side and uh, I thought maybe we would do uh, something. I mean, I can show you how to do some lettering and some, um, you know, decorating with some stickers. Um, these are my extra. Let me hang on. Let me go get my books. They're, they're in my bedroom where I do, use them all the time. kind of personal so I probably won't go through them but I'll show them to you so I have these um I keep these uh smash bands around them to keep them closed this one's my prayer journal and you can see it's pretty fat and I have it tabbed and uh so then I keep uh these on there to keep them closed so there's this one and it has the extra this is the rose gold metal rings the rose gold metal, um, and you can see so you can swap things out. That's a nice thing about all the happy planners. See, like here's some other rings I have. These ones are plastic. These ones, these ones are plastic. <laughs> then here's some smaller metal ones. These are like the regular size, your standard size uh, rings. These are the expandable ones, which I like, and that's what I have on here. The metal rose gold rings on this one. And then this one is my general note-taking one. Um, my general note-taking one. Uh, I've got different projects going on here. Again, I have a, let me pull it out here, a smash band that goes around it to keep it closed because it's so packed full. <clears throat> Let's get that around there. There. So like this. And this one has got the metal, uh, silver metal rings. The silver metal. <laughs> uh, you remember the phone number was typed on the space? Yeah, right there. Yeah. So these are my two, um, I, if you want to call them everyday, everyday uh, books that I use all the time. Everyday books. Let's get that on back on there. Let me put it over far enough. Hang on. Doesn't want to go off. There we go. 
so yeah these are my everyday writing journals i do have my traveler's notebooks too that i do for specific uh book notes and things like that topics like if i have a history topic i'll have a tn journal specifically for a in a book and a traveler's T, you know, insert is what you call them, the traveler's inserts. So I have those as well. Um, hi, Judy. Good to see you. Karen. All right. So anyway, uh, because I write in these so often, let me just set this to the side for a minute. I have papers cut. So I have lots of paper cut. And these are mostly out of the flow not all of them. Some are some, some are from the um, Happy Planner extra papers, right? But they're like from the flow book of papers, like this one. These are these are like from the flow book of papers. This is just from a piece of scrapbook paper I liked, so I punched it down. Um, you know, just different things. This is from the flow book of paper. These are some cardstock ones. I thought these would be good for. Um, dividing craft projects out or, you know, I just, and anyway, and then here's like different ones from the flow book of papers. This one was a color book page and there's just different ones like this. So I can either tape things on, you know, you can use journaling cards, different little, you know, quotes or whatever. If you cut one out of a magazine and then you can just glue it in, you know, you don't have to hand write <clears throat> out every quote. You can cut them out. <laughs> so if you come across, uh, like in the, let me get my, let's see, where's my new flow magazine? So the new flow magazine came out. So this is what I'm talking about. So if you find something in the flow book that you either like to quote or a little picture you can use this as a glue book. You can use your ring binders. So don't just think of those happy planners as a planner. You can use it as a glue book, a quote book, um, a magazine, uh, magazine images and quotes and articles. So there's just so many things you can do with it when you can create your own book, when you can make it your own <clears throat> by punching you know, punching it yourself. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can use, y'all know, I have tons of three ring binders. You can do it in a three ring binder, your society of idea collector, all the same, all, you know, just with different, different purposes for each book. Okay. <clears throat> so the new flow magazine came with this on the back. This was attached with a uh, plastic belly band on it. And um, so if y'all want to see the new flow book, and then I wanna, I'm going to show you some creative books, some different ideas. So if you're in the Society of Idea Collectors and you like to collect ideas, that's the whole thing. Society of Idea Collectors, you collect ideas, you know, get out whatever it is you keep your notes on, even if it's just for now, a post-it note. Uh, I keep post-it notes by my bed and uh, keep them handy with a pen. So anytime something occurs to me, uh, you know, or, or some, most of the time I have a TN or some kind of book next to me where I can write in the book. But if you just want to jot down something real quick and, uh, you know, just have some post-it notes and you can always transfer those ideas and notes later. <coughs> Sorry guys, my voice is just not wanting to get going this morning. Okay, so, you know, like, let's just say you saw this in a magazine. I'm not going to cut it off of this because this is a project book. But if you just saw the bright side of your life, and look at that. I love the lettering. I love that style of lettering. I almost want to just write the whole alphabet out, you know, and fill in all the letters just like that because it's so cool. But if you saw it, you could cut that out and you could put it in one of your idea collecting books, whether it's a TN, Traveler's Notebook, which for those of y'all who don't know, it's the skinny. Well, mine aren't ever skinny. <laughs> I mean, they're the, the narrow. They're the narrow books, you know, like four by, I think they're four by eight, something like that, four by seven and a half. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> and uh, so anyway, if just depending on what kind of books. And, and the thing nice thing about Traveler's Notebooks is you can have a different insert for different projects. So if you have one for, a, you know, if you're studying a certain subject, like, and I always use Machu Picchu for an example, but it could be anything, you know, uh, a historical event, a historical person. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go get something to eat to get my voice going, I think. And of course, I do have a fan blowing right in my face as we speak. So don't email me. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Alexis. Hi, Alexis. Yeah, it's 630 in California. I know. I'm glad you made a live stream. Thank you. And uh, so anyway, this was attached to the back of the, this month's issue of Flow. Well, I say this month. Is it a monthly? Is it bi-monthly? Issue 31. Mm, August, September. Yeah, so bi-monthly. So this is the newest one. And they, they've been having these, uh, like this is mini course number five. They've been having these attached to the back, which I think is really cool. And whether you actually use the book, many times, like this one I'll show again, where y'all remember last week we turned this little creative book into a ring journal. And what's nice about that, although this one's, the sheet's bigger than this book, but then you can just pop in. You can pop in your own pages, right? You pop in your own pages. <clears throat> and uh, so that's nice about some of these little creative books like this. You can make your own books out of them and add your own, um, add your own pages. And uh, so anyway, whether I write in this one or not, or whether I just take the, the questions or the notes out of it and put it in one of my uh, idea collecting books, that's probably what I'll do because then this if I write in this this just makes me have another book to be um, accountable for <laughs> you know what I mean so I'd rather just write out the notes or the questions or the um, assignment rather write the assignment into one of my other books not not this but one of my here mm -hmm. In my like my daily this is my like daily uh type book i'd rather write um and then i'll just paper clip what i'm working on write the assignments out in here because it's no big deal to write an extra sentence and then i don't have this book to keep up with along with the others does that make sense okay um i heard from pecola uh, I heard from uh, Melody, I think it's a few of us did, and uh, last week she did have to put Rex to sleep. She did have to put Rex to sleep. So if any of y'all are in contact with Melody, send her a hug, and, um, you know, because that's hard. We all have been through it. We all know what it's like to have to put your pet to sleep. Um, so, yeah, so if y'all see Melody... Give her hugs, or if you are in contact with her on social media, yeah, uh, then then uh, make sure and give her a hug. Okay, guys. Um, so if you get these kind of books, or if you if there's different kinds of assignments, like look, here's an online awareness question and answer thing. Well, you don't have to necessarily do it in here. Read this and take your own notes in the books that you work in all the time, whether it's a composition book, a, a binder, a traveler's notebook, a, a ring binder, like the ones I just showed you, whatever it is, you don't have to necessarily do it in the magazine. Okay. And then what happens is then all your information is in one spot or two or three, you know, it's in your notebooks that you're using, right? It'll be in your current books, whether whatever type that is, it'll be in your current notebooks rather in a bunch of magazines that you're probably not going to go back and look at. Whereas I, I cut this stuff up, you know, oh, I like that bug. I'm going to cut that bug out. And what I do is then I glue that into another book. So if you have question and answer type, um, question and answer type um, little assignments, you know, then then write that in the books you use all the time. Hi, Gail. 
because I know how easy it is to have multiple, multiple books, but I like it that way. Not everybody can do that. Not everybody can from a book to this book, to that journal, to a traveler's, to a ring binder, to a disc journal, you know, and move from thing to thing. But I know where every, I know what's in all my different books. So I know this one's for this, this one's for that. My daily one, my prayer one, my study one, my history studies, my lists of books, my books, uh, books that I've taken uh, notes in and on. Uh, so I have different books for different things because, you know, I like to learn. Okay. So again, this was attached to the back. And this is a little booklet, again, Flow Mini Course Number 5, The Bright Side of Your Life. Embrace positivity with this five-minute paste, write, and draw journal. Now, again, any of your books that you have, any of your uh, books that you keep notes in, can be a paste, write, and draw journal. Don't be afraid to cut something out, paste it in. Don't be too precious with it. If you know, you, don't get it so like, oh, it's got to be so lined up and so perfect, and it's got to have a little piece of washi tape on it. If you do that, you won't, you won't, um, you won't do it after a while because it'll be, become too tedious, too, too, just too much work. You know, I've seen girls that do the planner. That's what happened to me with the planner. Now, this was before the planners all really became popular. This was probably, I think, 2004 when I did a big 12 by 12. I used a 12 by 12 on a scrapbook with three ring binder type. And I cut out a calendar. I've told you all this story before. I cut out a 12 by 12 calendar and punched the rings, backed it all with some nice uh, basic gray scrapbook papers, inserted all my own. I made a nice big planner right back in like I said I think it was 2004 took and all the little squares and I was going to keep track of everything I did and all those little squares kind of like planner people do now and if you can do that great not dissing on anybody that keeps a planner trust me I love planners <laughs> I love them I just don't like doing it daily because I, I don't like to, I don't like to keep up with myself. I don't like, I don't like the, you know, I, I mean, I love my life, but I don't like writing everything down about it. If I wrote down everything I did every day, I would do absolutely nothing, which I did this for a year. I do absolutely hardly anything else, but keep track of everything I did that day. And that took away time from things I wanted to do. Now, if you are a, you know, if you're a school teacher, if you have kids in class, you got to keep up with, they got to go to cheer, they got to go to baseball, they got to go to soccer. I got meetings here, meetings there, doctor appointment. You know, if you have a lot of stuff going on like that, then a planner is going to be awesome for you. <laughs> You know, Miss Vicki B, she's, she's my planner queen, Miss Vicki B. And she's got all kinds of planner classes. If you don't follow uh, Vicki B, she's got Patreons and classes and all kinds of things on planners. And she like, you know, she can do that. But she has a lot going on. She's got three little kids. You know, you got things going on. You have to keep track of that. My daughter, Denise, does it all on her phone. She's in real estate. Everything's done on the phone. Everything. Everything's done on the phone and computer. So all her, all her, everything is on the phone. So if you keep track of your plans on a phone, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. I'm not dissing on any of it. I'm just saying for me, by the time October rolled around when I was doing that big planner thing, I could not wait for the year to be over. I did not enjoy it. I didn't like it. It stressed me out. Oh my God, I forgot to write something in the little square yesterday. I got to get up and do it right. You know, I just, it, it just freaked me out. <laughs> it was way too much to keep up with myself. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with myself. So anyway, but I love me some planners, but I like them for different reasons. I like listing. I like ideas. I like notes. I like uh, mind mapping. Um, I like quotes and cutting things out and gluing it in. You know, I like studying. I like reading and taking notes. I, I annotate my books. I, you know, there's just lots of things that I do. I, I love writing things down, but I just don't like a daily dated thing. 
where I have to keep up with myself. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, the bright side of your life, again, embracing positivity with the five-minute Paste, Write, Draw journal. And um, it's, it's put out by flow, obviously. Daily Rays of Hope. Little, you know, and it's just all kinds of little quotes, little projects. Uh, keep a, sp a positive spiral going rather than a negative one. Gratitude. Well, gratitude is like one of the best ways to uh, keep it going positive. And so it's how many days did it say? How many days did it say? Did it say? Is it how many days? Um, 24 days, I think. 24, 25. I see 23. Anyway, um, 20 something days to keep, you know, to, to journal in. Um, yeah. And, and some people have to plan, you know, you have to keep track of things, especially if you've got kids and things going on, you know, of course, yeah. Like Jerry, she may not like it. Sometimes you have to do it, but I don't. <laughs> so, um, I, if I need to write, remember something, I, I write it on a post-it note. Everything for me is a post-it note, write on post-it note. And then, I mean, if it's something, you know, uh, if there's a doctor appointment or something that goes on my refrigerator calendar, it just, you know, it's, I will have, it's um, stainless steel. So I have to tape it to the top and hang it down. But anyway, uh, it's on my um, refrigerator calendar, birthdays, family birthday, anything family, family birthdays, eye appointment, you know, anything like that just goes on the refrigerator. And that's it. You know, anything else comes up, I got a post-it note for it. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, anyway, like for instance, day one, newspapers don't only bring bad news. Cut out a photo or story that you like and write down and why. So that's like assignment for one day. Day two, tear a word you like out of a newspaper or magazine. So, you know, this is this is all thought provoking, um, you know, soul searching, you know, that type of thing. And so you can if you just want to cut one big word out and that makes, you know, makes you start your day or the next day. You know, if you do 20 something days and then you have a bad week, you could pull this back out and look at it again. Draw a picture of the tastiest thing you ate today. Glue the wrapper or recipe next to it. So you get the idea, you know, there's just so many things like this. Read your favorite poem out loud or sing your favorite song. No one will hear you. Write some of the words and lyrics here. And again, it doesn't have to be in this book. It can be in whatever book you use to journal or write or keep track of notes and stuff like that. But look how pretty, you know, it's just so nice. Um, glue a register receipt, for, receipt from something you bought such as your favorite lunch or a purchase that evokes a nice memory. And so again, there's 20, there's 25 or six. And then look, see then in, interspersed here with the quote, hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. Emily Dickinson. So a little, little things like that. Here's one for a list. The five characteristics of my favorite places at home. Uh, so anything, and it doesn't, you know, this is just one of many examples that I can show you today of the kind of books that you can do this with, whether you write in the books or whether, which I, what I do is write in a separate book. And the, the main reason I like to do that is so it's all together. Otherwise, I would have, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, some of my creative books. I would have this book going, that book going, this book going. And if you if you just work in one book at a time, there's nothing wrong with that. But I can't and don't. So if I if I uh, like five things and then I got my journal sparks here. And so I like, you know, five or six things out of this. Creativity takes courage. I like this little book and it's got like ideas. Well, do I want to work in this and this and this? Do I want to work in a book that takes its time, this flow book? Do I want to work in this and this? And see what I'm saying? So there's so many types of these creativity books that I like, I enjoy, I get a lot out of, but I don't want to work in all these. I'll, I'll read it with a note, with, a, with my notebook, 
a traveler's notebook and a pen in hand. And I will find what I want out of it and write it down in a separate book. So it's all together. Hi, Tony. Because otherwise, <laughs> I would be working in all these, right? And I just, I, I don't want to do that, let alone couldn't, right? Oh, and uh, the thing that I got in Amazon the other day that I, I, I was hoping would get in the mail before I got here. Y'all know I usually use uh, in October my little carbon black ink. Or that's not it. Um, my little black star matte carbon ink. So I usually use like this kind of ink in um, Inktober. This is almost empty. So I could have got another one of these, but I went on um, I went on Amazon and got I went I like waterproof ink. So I got a bot I got a whole big jar of the Kohinoor uh, ink, Janet, Black India ink. <laughs> so I'm ready for Inktober which is the first day of October for the month of October. I still do not know what I'm going to do in Inktober yet, but this will be, this will be my sixth year. Cause I've done it five. Have I done it five years? I think I've done it five. This will be year six. Uh, one, let me think one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. This will be year six. You're ex excited for Inktober too. So I got a nice big bottle of ink at Amazon. I, it kind of scared me to buy this big bottle of ink from Amazon. I thought, is it going to make it? Is it going to make it here? But they put it in a box. It is in a box. So it didn't like, you know, leak or anything. So <laughs> you haven't picked your theme yet either, Julie Topaz? Yeah. So I'm ready for Inktober. <laughs> and um, and what I do is I put the ink in these little uh, soap sto soapstone trays. I put it in here. And whether I use a, a, a paintbrush or one of my calligraphy nibs, and I just pull it on here. Now, this ink is dry. I can peel that out. This is dried in the soapstone, and I can peel this out. So, But I don't usually need to very much. It just builds up in there. So uh, anyway, I'm ready for Inktober. There's that little rabbit trail. <laughs> uh, okay, so what's... Uh, September is 30 day, 30, what was it? 30 inks, a uh, fountain pen and inks. Yeah, I won't be doing that because I do Inktober. I don't want to do two months of inking, <laughs> but anybody else that wants to know about it. Yeah, I do Inktober. Okay, so that's, this was the uh, extra that came attached to the flow. So in the flow, it's got this little confetti cover here. When it rains on your parade, look up rather than down. Without the rain, there would be no rainbow. G.K. Chesterton. And I love. There's a lot of uh, G.K. Chesterton quotes that I've collected as well. And if you, if y'all know, he's also a writer. Let's see. He died in 1936, so 1874, 1936. Um, just look him up. Look at you know, Google him. Um, so Sarah, yay. Hey, Miss Didi, I'm Japanese, but unfortunately I can't speak English. I'm talking now through translation. Okay. Can you understand English? Can you can't speak it, but can you understand? Oh, she doesn't even understand it. Okay. Well, let me at least put in hi, S-A-R-A-Y-A. -A -A. Let me just put in, whoops, it didn't connect. Take on. S A R Sarah Yay. So at least she can see that we're saying hi to her. So Flo always has a little um, this book belongs to, and uh, Astrid and Irene are the um, creators of it, and it is an international. I think it's a Dutch publication that they put in English, so they are not cheap. You are like buying a book when you buy a Flo magazine whether it's a magazine or whether it's one of the flow uh, books, you know, this one, this one's the book that takes its time and unhurried adventure and creative mindfulness. And again, um, you know, the, but they're very high quality. The magazines and the uh, books are very high quality. So there's just always different They have pictures, photography, live, Stories, essays, um, just a little of uh, everything. 
Uh, I know, Judy, right? Uh, behind the scenes. Here's somebody that draws, and I haven't read this yet. I have not read it, so I don't even know, you know, what who do, drew what or what. Uh, space journey. Seeing, seeing planet Earth from space changes your life forever. It raises your awareness, triggers your compassion, and gives you a rush of happiness. And so, you know, just different. Here's an article on, you know, stars and... Um, Y'all know I love me some space. What are you up to? And then different artists. They talk about different, whether it's, uh, uh, this it looks like he's a letterer. <clears throat> you know, different artist studios. And they usually have something from someone around the world. And uh, here's another picture. I guess whoever d does this likes their bugs. <laughs> Um, it's a Patty Smith quote, uh, different photos of different uh, times past for different, um, you know, different articles. And you can subscribe. I always just try to find it in the bookstores. I have this 19 days of mindfulness. Again, another little book. Love the ideas. I love the questions and the thought provoking things, but I don't want to write it in here. You know, because I'll have that's another book I would have online awareness. What impact does social media have on you? Different questions about that. There's an article on Patty Smith. Um, <clears throat> Museum of me. Different people that travel different places, live in different. Here's 50 ways to draw your beautiful, ordinary life. That's another good one that I have that one. Did I pull it? I don't think I pulled it. Um, but anyway, there's different flow drawing books. Flow comes out with a lot of books and they're all they're all awesome. All flow books are really awesome. Always be a beginner. See so if you have a three ring no notebook, you could tear that out and put that in there. Different photos, old vintage photos. Display cases, there's different butterflies. And uh, these have been superimposed in, uh, over photographs. Um, another one of the cardstock, heavy cardstock, like divider sheet kind of thing. You can use these for uh, dividers in a notebook. Some postcards, flow, slow down postcards. And they always have like a little glue, we call them snot dots back in the day, little glue dots so that you, and they're stuck in there. Flow is always good about tip-ins and all kinds of little stuff stuck in the books. All their books have that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, and then here's in the next issue, the Flow News, little article, you know, telling you what's coming up next. This, this reminds me of uh, Mary Altier, how she draws um, pictures, uh, paints little pictures. Doesn't that remind y'all of, of Mary? Now I want to get some flow books. Oh, well, wait, I'm going to show you some actual books. These are the magazines. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But anyway, so this came attached to it uh, on the back. So, again, there's the this September, uh, August, September flow. All right, let's see now. What do I want to show next here? Let me go ahead and um, show you some of the books that, that you can take ideas from, okay? I showed you this one last uh, last week, this Get Creative. This one's not a flow book. This one's by Lisa Dyer, Get Creative. Over 60 exercises, activities, and prompts to stimulate your imagination. And again, if you do want to work in it, then I would recommend, I did this on, I did this one on purpose to show you how to deconstruct a book, take a book apart and, and put the uh, discs on it so that you can use it. And this is just a bookmark I put in there. So you can see how you can attach and take, put in and take out different pages, right? And you can cut cut it down to you can cut your papers and your insert papers down to whatever size your little book is. This is the size the book came, and uh, so it's just got all kinds of little. Uh, here's a pictogram writing. It's got all kinds of little uh, 
use this verb. So when you're struggling with writing tasks, working with li within limitations can really help you focus and isolate the sentence structure. Take each of the verbs below and use them in as many sentences as you can. Feel free to change the tense from present tense to past tense, from find to found, for example. The sentences can be basic and short as these exercises concern the generating of ideas quickly. So then you take these words and they have find, need, feel, look, see, and believe. And so then you, again, I would not write in this book. I would write it in one of my books that I write in all the time. So I could, you could just pick some, something out of the book and as, as a prompt in your regular writing journal, whether it's a TN, disc, happy planner type thing, whatever it is. Uh, oh, thank you, Pacola. So, um, but these are the kind of ideas that spark your imagination, your creativity. People that say, I don't have any creativity. I don't have an imagination. It's just not true. <laughs> it's just not true. But if you think you don't, then get a book like this and start writing. Draw the ideas. List the ideas. Make multiple lists and connect multiple uh, ideas. Cross-pollinate them. And you'll see you have an imagination. It's probably you just haven't focused your attention on it. So you think you don't. But if you can see a picture in your head, like when I say, I use the example, if I say a red apple or I say a green apple or whatever, you can picture that, right? You have an imagination. It's just you probably don't exercise it. That's why we have the Society of Idea Collectors. You collect your ideas, but you got to, you got to do something with it, guys. All right. Um, uh, find the silver lining. I, and I don't remember what all these were. Oh, six thinking hats. Let's read this one. Sometimes you just need to begin again with a blank slate. If you're struggling with an idea or can't find a solution, break it down by looking at it from different perspectives. Using a system designed by the father of lateral thinking, Edward D. Bono, put on a different color hat and ask yourself these six questions. Blue hat. What is the idea or problem and the goal? Look at the big picture. White hat. What are the actual facts? Red hat. What's your gut feeling? How do you feel about it? What emotions do you associate with it? Black hat. What could go wrong? What are the issues? Yellow hat. What could go right? What are the best possible outcome? Green hat. What's the alternative? And where else could this idea or problem go? So, you know, when you do these kind of exercises, it just makes you, it just keeps the old brain neurons firing. <laughs> uh, create a Zen space. Mindfully meditate. Um, bre breathing. Uh, take a nature break, your workspace motto, and I'm just skipping through here, body scan, how you feel about different things, um, when, what are you wearing, and of course I give you blank pages to work things out, uh, smell, sense, um, graffiti tag your emotion, your favorite food, and then they have all different kind of food um, uh, descriptive adjectives. Uh, some quotes here and things, seeing things differently, create a wise counsel. Again, I just stuck this little uh, divider in here. In five years, in 20, in, in 10, in 20. Um, and then some blank pages in between. Mind map a post. Here's mind mapping. I don't know what they're, um, they're what they want you to design a poster. So on their mind map, the center is design a poster. Then all the mind mapping, text, shapes, context, inspiration, co uh, composition, theme, fonts, mood, imagery, color, audience, tools. And we've talked a lot about mind mapping too here. So, you know, uh, mind mapping is what's one of my favorite things. Listing and mind mapping. Um <clears throat> Why did they do that? Word association. So there's just this got, you know, finish this sentence. The last six months have been, and you finish it. 
Every morning at the coffee, coffee shop I met, the sky began to darken as we, and you start, you know, writing. Shakespeare in a text message. Um, he said, she said. So just different prompts, writing prompts, inspiration, idea prompts. And that one's called Get Creative by Lisa Dyer. D-Y-E-R. ISBN is 9781788888912. Okay. And again, I just ring bound it. Didn't come that way. We we did that last week. So there's um uh, there's one idea book. The, this was the flow 19 days of flow mind mindfulness, 19 days of mindfulness by flow. Writing as a form of meditation, seeing things differently uh, in different, you know, paper things like here's morning pages in this little book. So this one is a little, again, it's a 19 day. If you like doing a kind of a, a you know, keeping a project for 19, 30, 40, whatever day the project uh, contains. If you like having it all in one book, then do that. This would be another one that would be cool to ring bound so you could add more pages to it. This one, again, is a flow. It's got color book. Uh, it's got a big color book banner in it. Look at this. How many? Let's see how many pages. We did this a couple weeks ago. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I think it was 14 or six, 16, it looks like. A 16-page banner. And this is a color by number. It, it goes uh, vertical, but I'm showing it to you horizontal because so it fits under the camera but this is like a uh it could almost look like a growth chart you know where you could you know have your kids or grandkids make it a growth chart um okay so anyway um that comes in there and then there's all kinds of prompts and questions and writing prompts drawing prompts idea prompts uh plan a date with yourself um paper experiment page there are various things you could do with this page, such as paint something you see right now, your teapot, plant, coffee mug, use watercolors, tear this page out, leave it outside during a rain shower. If you all have never done a Carrie Smith book, Carrie Smith does all the, um, you know, you alter the book. I can't think of the names of them right now. because I gave all my Carrie Smith books. I think there's like eight or ten of them. Cameron used to love those books. I don't think he uses them anymore. I'm talking maybe five years ago. So all my Carrie Smith books have gone to Cameron. So I don't have any. I might have one. I think I might wreck this book. Yeah. I think I've wrecked this book, uh, Color Edition. I have that one. But all the other Carrie Smith, and I've had all the Carrie Smith books. They're all awesome. Inspiration and creativity. Um, but I don't have any here to show because I gave them all to my grandson. Uh, get out pencils close your eyes and draw yourself i mean just different little things just that makes you sometimes you think oh that's so stupid that's so dumb but if you do it it's like mind mapping if you've never mind mapped anything you don't you won't get it you go what's the purpose of that i don't get it what you know do the mind map with the who what where why when how you know ask those questions with a specific topic in the center and just see what happens. See how your thinking, you know, works. Writing brings peace. Day four. This is day six. So they have different little projects with each day. So again, this is the 19 days of mindfulness by flow. ISBN 7252746186. And they're, you're paying a, you're paying a prize for these guys because they are, you know, published internationally, um, and and in and translated and imported. So, so there's but look at that. That's a nice. That's an actual book, the book tape. You know, it's they're they're quality books, all of them. Okay, uh, another one, and I I bought this one twice and gave one away a few months ago. So. Um, Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for all the thumbs up. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Journal Sparks, fire up your creativity with spontaneous art, wild writing, and inventive thinking. 
okay? And uh, ir 60 Irresistible Ways to Fill the Page. This one is by Emily K. Newberger, ISBN 978161212. One two six five two four, and this one's in the uh, classifies crafts and creativity. And again, you can find a lot of these on Amazon. You know, uh, I, I always like looking for books like this in the bookstores. Now, um, don't always just look in the art section. This is probably one of those. Maybe it was in the art section, but I'm thinking it might have been in the self improvement sections always look in the self-improvement sections because these are the kind of books that'll be over there they're not always over in the art section your mind is a map it goes all over the place see that's that's a cute quote i would write that down prisma and let, did you make that up i like that maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll write that out let me get a pen here let me see did you make that up? My mind is a map. Goes all over the place. Did you make that up, Prisma? I'll put you quote. I'll put you down as the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can go in the wing nut book too. <clears throat> all over the place. Prisma. Prisma, color me. Yes, D, I made that up. Blame my brain. Okay, I like that though. We'll we'll do a we'll do a lettering of that. Okay, so journal sparks, and again, it's got this one's got uh, all kinds of look dot people and creatures, constellations, food. The perfect day, making things out of blobs. Then they'll have little pro little uh, questions to get you thinking. Ten years from now, I will live in blank, in the town of blank, with my blank and my blank. And I will say my cats, because here comes one. <laughs> my favorite thing to do is, my favorite thing to wear. I work as a, I have tons of fun when I... But blank is no fun at all. You know, so it's things like that. Just a little creativity sparks. <clears throat> all right. You're going to come over here, baby? All right, baby girl. I see you. I know. You want mama pet. You want mama pet. Oh, it's not enough to pet you. Now you're going to just lay right on my book, huh? All right. We'll stop and give you some pets while, mom <laughs> while mama looks at chat. I know. You're such a sweetie. You want to look up at the camera? Oh, get the baby girl. Get the baby girl. Oh, so sweet. Yep, cat break. <laughs> Hi, Kamar Comer. Oh, that's Corner Lot. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you take off your first name? Corner Lot Creations. Didn't you have another? <laughs> There's Mary. Hi, Mary. We're just taking a minute for the cats. We're doing inspiration, creativity. And again, I always say this. I know Mary goes, oh, no, Dee Dee, don't have to say. Don't call me out. Don't embarrass me. But Mary has awesome creativity ideas, projects, journals. So, yeah. So make sure and uh, peruse the awesomeness that is Mary. A-T-A. Okay, let's see. Chapter three, collection. Journal pages are like coat pockets, storage places for random found treasures, stuff you are drawn to, ideas to remember, dogs with smushy faces, favorite things, intriguing words, weird things, colorful birds. And so they got his like make your own comic, nature tracing, and you could trace, you could print with leaves, take a leaf and ink it up and print with it, um, different uh, quotes. What can you imagine people saying? What do you actually hear people saying? Alphabet list of curious things. I am, make a list all about you, favorite things, word collections, charming words, favorite words, melancholy words, awkward or unpleasant words, favorite made up words, you know, just different things on word collection, 20 different ways. How many ways, how many ways can you show one thing? 
20 shades of blue, 20 places to have a picnic, 20 ways to describe clouds, 20 ways a day can end badly, 20 ways to illustrate a tree, 20 ways to illustrate the ocean, 20 mysteries, 20 clouds that look like something. And I'm just, just scanning a few of them there. Name that color. So you name your own colors like this one. Afternoon sun, sad bird, eraser. And if you've never taken a box of Crayola colors, go read, go read, make a swatch. Make a swatch page of all the Crayola colors with the names. Write the names down. How do all of you let me count? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, make a make a swatch chart of Crayola, you know, 120 colors. I only have the box of 96, but you can write down all the names, all the names of the colors, and that will make you think of uh, things. While, when you swatch out all the colors, let's just say one's named Mango. Well, when you got that orange color right there, what uh, what else do you think of when you see that color? Do you think of a sunset? Do you think of, you know, whatever it is that you think of, an orange, you know, write down whatever other thing you think of when you see that color with the word. Like if the word mango for orange, well, what does mangoes make you think of? Does it make you think of, um, you know, going to the tropics? You know, write down all that stuff. <clears throat> washi tapes, pockets, pieces, mandalas, begin with the hair. Look, all these hair are made out of different paper things. Layer it. Uh, then chapter five is wordsmith. Experiment with language. Get funky with language. Become friends with language. Argue with language. Make rules for language. Throw a party with like all these in with with language be tricky get bossy doze off make peace with language different fonts tiny poems freestyle word grouping between me and the cat which my cat right now is sleeping under the light <laughs> Um, let's see, tiny zine challenge. Well, if you have, if, no, if you've never made a zine, you need to do, make a zine sometime. Journal with friends. Then the next chapter seven, journal making and hacking. How to do different journal hacks. Um, making different size journals. And then I have a bunch of paper in the back for you to use if you want. And you can punch out different uh, word balloons. So, yeah, that's Journal Sparks. Okay. I'll show you a few of these and we'll do some, uh, then we'll do some lettering. Mango Margarita. That's what <laughs> Julie Topaz is thinking of. Okay. I'll show you these two flow books. Let's get my little thing back under here. Hang on, let me... Straighten up my camera again. There we go. Is this interesting to you guys? Are y'all enjoying getting some ideas? Hopefully you're writing down. Hopefully you're writing down some Society of Idea Collectors. And by the way, while we're here, you don't have the, the mods don't have to do anything. My Society of Idea Collector Bowl, which we've been using this for, we've been using this for some years. Pulling out uh, people's names. I did put some new ones in here last week when I pulled some last week. Let's make sure I'm not spilling any. So I'm going to go ahead and pull two for now. We'll pull two, two names out. I'm going to cover it up and kind of dig down in here. Lisa Mertz. Let's pull another one. Get, dig down in there. And Connie Curtis. So Lisa Mertz and Connie Curtis. I might pull another one or two in a little while. So uh, if you're part of the Society of Idea Collectors, all you have to do to be in the part of the Society of Idea Collectors to have your name in the bowl, all you have to do is uh, email me. Email me your book of choice to keep your ideas in. 
What do you keep your, your ideas in? A traveler's notebook, a ring binder, a composition book, your phone, post-it notes, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, no bad hurting required. Okay, let's make, get my voice going here, hopefully. All right, so let's look at first a book that takes its time. This one came out, I think, last year. Let me see. 2017. So this one came out in 2017. You liking it? Okay, good. I hope you guys are. I hope you're enjoying uh, some ideas. It's kind of a chill. You know, I'm not really, um, I'm not really, I'm going to do some lettering in a little bit, but I have not really a lot of projects. Just brighten that up just a little there. <clears throat> Your Amazon cart is overflow. Yeah, overflow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So again, you know, get one or two of these, see if you, these kind of books are to your liking. Not everybody likes to write and journal and do prompts, writing prompts and that kind of thing. Um, yes. Thank you, Bacola. I have a society of idea. I don't know what, is this number 60? Would today be number 60 society idea collecting video number 60? I think Bacola. This could be number 60. So I have a playlist, Society of Idea Collecting. And, um, oh, it's only 56? Oh, wait, 55. Okay, 55. Pacola, Pacola knows. She keeps track. So this is number 55. Okay. Um, you have a captive eyes. We watch paint dry. <laughs> we all do. We love it, though. We love just hanging out. Okay, so this was um, a flow book, a book that takes its time. It's a huge, fat book. And it was $27.50 at the bookstore. Maybe on Amazon it's cheaper. I don't know. 9780761193777. Okay. And again, this book belongs to. Let's move this over here a little. <clears throat> do you need, do five? more so we want to get to 60 yeah i will eventually get there mary and if y'all want to see some again i know i'm going to embarrass mary but if you want to see some cool um idea collecting and idea generating and idea doing mary has awesome projects journals she has all kinds of big journals little journals she does drawings uh, she does a little everything mary's i just like to tell everybody about mary because she does this all the time uh, Prisma, Didi, I'm still in society. I haven't been here a while. I don't take people's names out of the bowl. So if you gave me your name, you're and and you have not been called. Your name is in the bowl. Uh, once your once your name is called, I do take your name out of the bowl because, you know, that gives everybody a chance to get some you know little envelope of goodies. And that's just usually what I send out for society idea collectors. Just a little envelope of goodies. Um. So, yeah, if your name's in the bowl and it's still in the bowl. A book that takes its time, an unhurried adventure and creative mindfulness. Contents. The time is now. Time to breathe. Time to learn. Time to create. Time to reflect. Time to let go. Time to be kind. And, then, of course, index credits and all that. So, uh, introduction. The time is now. And time to breathe. And all it's just, there's just beautiful books articles and then look at this look at these these are little post little um little uh um uh, well they're calling them a beautiful moment so you can you can t these are they're perforated that's the word i was trying to think of perforated little cards that you can use and flow book of paper if you've never bought a flow book of paper um then this is what their whole book is like all kinds of things like these. And again, they're about $30, but they're thick. They've got tons of papers. And again, I like to take the flow book of papers and um, punch them and use them. But they'll have all kinds of postcards. Look at all these beautiful moment little cards. All these are perforated, so you can take them apart and write on them. Mary said, we worked a mind map on a story character last Friday. Ooh, I got to go watch that, Mary. I love when Mary mind maps and does stories. 
Um, have you done a full story since last Halloween? La I think it was last Halloween. It could have been the one before. Mary did a, uh, sto she does stories about spiders going on spaceships. <laughs> it's just awesome. Mary's fun. Mary's fun. A uh, little poem right here. I'm going to go watch that, Mary. I want to see that. Okay, what do you, uh, no, 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 get out, get out of the bowl, baby girl. You can't get in mama's bowl of uh, Society of Idea Collectors. Let's put that away till we get back to it. <laughs> she wants to get in the bowl and flick out all the papers. We're telling a Miss Mary Mysteries. Oh, I like that, Mary. Telling a Miss Mary Mysteries. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta get over there. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do that today, Mary. <laughs> it sounds good. Mary also uh, she does us uh, morning early morning streams. Like she comes on like at four or five o'clock in the morning. She comes on before I come on. I come on pretty early for most people. Some people on the West Coast could probably catch Mary overnight at night. <laughs> It's about Fibsville. Oh, Mary, I got to go watch that. I'm excited to go watch that. Okay. <laughs> Celebrate the weight. I'm not going to read you everyone, but look, this is what I'm talking about, how they, let me take this one out. See the little, I call them snot dots. They're little glue dots and they peel right off. Okay. They peel right off, but that's how they attach things in their book. The joy of one thing at a time notebook. So they have a little notebook with little prompts to take one thing at a time. So they always have these kind of little things attached in whatever books they have and magazines. Oh, I can't got to go watch that, Mary. I'm excited to go see that. Janet named our town Fibsville. Oh, oh, I can't got to go watch it. I know like, there's so many good, cool videos that I want to keep up with. It's hard. I will go watch it, Mary. Uh, little quotes, uh, get out of your comfort zone, all kinds of tips for breaking old habits. I'm just kind of randomly picking. Life is about finding the balance, cultivating courage, a creative outlet, follow your dream. This is like a poster here. I mean, like a cardstock. Power of screen time. Time to learn. The one with the yellow leaves. Just all different little articles and projects. Uh, recipes. Different herbs. A little bit of the case for hand lettering. And then here's for you to a page for you to practice your lettering, your squiggles. Again, I won't do it in the book. If I want to do this project i would do it in my other notebooks or a, just a blank paper to put in a notebook when you're smiling look around you try to find these things um little boxes of things to check off the number 11 a bench clouds a snail a daisy a traffic light and you just check them off look tons of them there um making a timeline here's like a like a little timeline map for you to do. I mean, just this is why the flow books are more expensive. It's because of things like this, right? Uh, don't be afraid of your emotions. Talking about, you know, how about you? Sit quietly in a chair and think about these things. Time to create some recipes, cooking. Um, another... Uh, card stock. These are like um, perforated again. Little uh, inspirational cards. You know, you can snail mail or you can keep them for yourself. Look, pages and pages of cards. Now, when I in the flow books, the flow book of paper, they have a lot of these as well. And I always take them out, cut them up, tear them up, and I give the I do give these away. Um, let's see. Okay, so it's hashtag Ms. M S Ms. Mary Mysteries. It goes on Friday nights. Okay, see why have I missed why have I missed the Miss Mary Mysteries? I watch a lot of your videos, but why am I missing the mysteries? 
I don't think I've seen one single video on the mysteries, Mary. Oh my gosh, Lucia named the newspaper the Daily Fibber. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've got to go catch up on those, Mary. You said, when did you say last April? Since April? You've been doing the Ms. Mary Mysteries? Okay, I've got to go watch them. And she says it's 7 p.m. Eastern. Is it Eastern, Mary? I tell it in my Friday streams. I don't know. Mary's not Eastern. I think Mary's Central Time. Maybe. Oh, that's going to be fun. I tell it in my Friday streams. Okay. I like your, you know, I watch your journaling ones, your drawings. I usually pick your, pick the shows I'm going to watch based on your um, titles and thumbnails. So somehow I've missed the mysteries. 7.30 uh, Central. Okay, so 8.30 Eastern. Okay. Oh, fun. And then Pacola just put a link to Mary's channel. Yeah, do you have a, you, you have a playlist, don't you? Do you have a, its own playlist, Mary? You need to have its own playlist. List, clear the mind. Of course, y'all know I love me some list. But look how pretty this is. Look how pretty. Things that make me happy. Things that work make me worry. Habits I want to break. Things I want to let go of. Things my inner critic tells me and what I want to say back. Things that give me energy. Uh, how to be happy with yourself. And then they have these little cartoons. Just one photo. Open your mind onto paper. And then here's another pull out, cutting and pasting a collage sheet. And then they give you little papers of collage. Look, you can cut these out and make your own collage. Um. I'm bad about playlists. Yeah. I, I always do it like right when I do my thumbnails, I add it to my playlist. I have probably about 15 playlists and I add them to multiples. Like if I do a mixed media collage, you know, animal, then I put it in all three playlists, you know, so that they're brought they're under whatever could be searched. Yeah. Why life looks better with a beginner's mind. <clears throat> how to look at things with wonder, you know, the writing cure. Here's that 30, a 30 day notebook, mini course in mindful analysis, 30 days of writing and thinking again, you know, if, if you're going to use this book, I, I would take the book out because again, it's just dot. It's just little sticky dots and put this book in my, my disc book rather than carry this book around. Oh, some quotes and wise words and quotes, fill in lists, wish lists. I'm going to kind of flip through the rest of this here. Just so you can kind of get the idea. Allow life to just be as it is. A little another week, what you can do week by week. Stick. These are all stickers. And that's another thing that the uh, pay, flow book of papers has tons of stickers, stickers and papers, um, photos, another little book here, poetry pictures. This has a little envelope with pictures in it. I remember this one here. You get some little stickers and little pictures. So that, you know, again, this is why flow books are not cheap. All the tip-ins, add-ins, and all that. Oh, let's see. I well, you inspire me, Mary. You you get you get as much done as I do. Being together, being alone, try a little tenderness, some more articles, exercise in self-kindness, how to console someone, be aware of the good things around you, and then here's another little envelope. This is a little glassine envelope of little cards. So that's a book that takes its time. An unhurried adventure in creative mindfulness. And it's a hefty, weighty book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then this one's a smaller little book by Flo. 
Can you show the front? Oh, did you not see it, Annis? I'll show it again. Book that takes its time. Okay, I don't know if you want to screenshot it so you remember what it looks like. Okay, then. Again, this is a flow book. I'm going to keep my little uh, dial there in the middle. <laughs> Okay, um, creativity takes its takes creativity takes courage. Dare to think differently. And again, it's by Irene and Astrid, illustrated by Kate Pugsley. And I don't know why I have this in here. Did this come with it, or I don't remember? Uh, maybe it's just a viewfinder that I stuck in there. <clears throat> and these are tiny little illustrations. Unleash your creativity. Let me take a sip of juice, guys. Hi, Pat McKnight, um, and I said hi to Janice. Anybody else I'm missing? Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Hope you're enjoying a little creativity uh, journey with some books and um, some Society of Idea Collector ideas. Dare to Fail, and some of these I've shown before at when I bought them, but I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of a review for uh, collecting ideas. We are far too focused on success in today's world. Even the most successful people don't succeed in everything. They do all the time. Here's a little quietness diary. A little See, these little books like this come in, you know, and it would have been stuck in a page. Ten people who fail big before they succeeded. And list those, like has Walt Disney. Walt, uh, Walt Disney was once fired by an editor who told him, that he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. <laughs> um, let's see here. Dare to start. Did I read the contents? Let's read the contents. Dare to fail. Dare to start. Dare to sleep more. Dare to be bored. Dare to commit. Dare to try something new. Dare to be a kid. Dare to be alone. Dare to go offline. Dare to be mindful, dare to nourish yourself, dare to be quiet, and dare to team up. So those are the, you know, and this is just right here, chapter two, dare to start. And, you know, different things. Here's some, what you know, things to list, your research, and, of course, quotes, ask the right questions, turn tiny questions into tiny actions, don't shout it from the rooftop. Be creative with time. Make it into a project. Make it as much fun as possible. So little things like that. Sleep. And again, here's some more little uh, posters. This is a poster here. Marilyn Monroe, Mick Jagger, and Einstein. There's little posters of them all in here. Dare to be bored. And there's another little book, My Daily Projects. Uh, for a month, 30 days of your daily project, more quotes, uh, more more question and answers. Uh, let's go to the next. Dare to be a kid. These are the viewfinders, I think. I think these are, yeah, it's all about how you frame it. If you've never taken a viewfinder, I'll just take a square, you know, take a, a square piece of uh, uh Hard stock, cut it, cut it like this, or it can be any size. And you can make, uh, if you cut this into an L, then you can make it into different size shapes. I've shown you that before. If, like if you trim this off into two L's, two, well, let me get that other one here just to show you. If you had two L's, then you can view fine like this. So you can make different size, find different sizes to focus on. Uh, dare to be alone. More question and answer things here. And then here's some um, little postcards. Offline's a new luxury. They all say that. And, uh, of course, you know, I'm not getting offline. I'm just saying. But, <laughs> you know, it depends on what you need in your own life. You know, I don't have kids and, you know, things like those kind of responsibilities. Uh, okay. Oh, there's another offline. So let's put that back in there. So anyway, that one's Creativity Takes Courage. Little flow book. ISBN is 
0-3-5-5-1. Dare to create, dare to begin. What's that? Okay. Then I have that one. <clears throat> Um, is this a flow book? I think that's a different one. Okay. Um, this is also, I think, that, is this a flow one? I think this is flow. Yeah, flow. Um, 50 ways to draw your beautiful ordinary life. And it does have a book jacket that, let me see if there's anything in chat. Put it in caps, guys, if you want me to see it. The book jacket to this one is a poster. So when you open it up, the inside of the book jacket is a poster. Dare, uh, draw, I was going to say dare to draw, draw every day. And then there's different quotes. Here's one from Beatrix Potter. I cannot rest. I must draw, however poor the result. And when I have a bad time come over me, it is a stronger desire than ever. So there's all different quotes by different artists in here. Have no fear of perfection. You'll never reach it. Salvador Dali. So, you know, these would be a, some good ones to do some brush letter or, you know, lettering lettering with. So, yeah, I might use some of these. I'm going to use uh, Prisma, though, first. So I'm going to put that. Let me just put this to the side. So 50 ways to draw your beautiful, ordinary life. And this is how to draw different things. And they give you pages. They give you little little um, kind of step out, kind of step by steps, lettering, all different kinds of things. Step by step, give you all kinds of papers, different things. If you want to draw some simple, you know, pretty basic things. Oh, Pacola said that this book, which one is marked down? One of the books Pacola said was <coughs> use the little booklets in another book. So I, I know this had other booklets in there as well but they're not in here anymore. So there's that paper doll. Let's see. I think I, uh, here, this one, this one here. I think this one came in here as well. Or it's different size. It may have been smaller size where you uh, do your own clothes. You draw your own clothes on the girls. <laughs> you know, th those are the kind of things that uh, Flo has. Let's see. I have this one. I'm doing exercises on loose leaf paper and not in the book. Yeah, see, that's what I do too, uh, Julie. I don't do. I don't. I don't work in the books very much. Let me tilt my camera up a little. I work uh, on separate paper, but I just want to show you some of them. Uh, all right couple more. These are not flow books, but I'm going to show these to you. And I showed this one on Monday, so I'm not going to show too much about it. I showed this one on Monday show. Uh, Every day is epic. A guided journal for daydreams, creative brands, and bright ideas. Care, Mary Kate McDevitt. And this one, I love the art in it. So every day it has just different little illustrations for you to do little prompts. Today's top 10, today's takeaway, today's lesson, current obsession. And then every day has an epic meter, a little meter so you can kind of measure how epic your day was with general notes, hindsight. Those are on every day on the sides with a date. You can date these if you want or just use them. Use them as an idea starter. How did today start? How did it end? Is everything organized? Try to walk in someone else's shoes. Learn anything on the journey? Uh, what's the scoop? Let it simmer. Snap decisions. You know, so all just different kinds of little illustrations, a new perspective, goals, today's oddities. So even if you don't write it in this book, you can you know, write some of these ideas down in your, your personal society of idea collector. My phone's like, okay, G, you probably need to rest that arm anyway. Thanks, G. Don't forget, guys, say some good thoughts and prayers for our G Brody and our Terry Trouble for their arms and shoulders. 
They both have to have surgery. Okay, Every Day is Epic, a guided journal for daydreams, creative rants, and brides. Again, I did a little bit more of a flip through this one on Monday, so I won't do too much on it today. But I just want to kind of show you the piles. Okay, then this one, I started putting some, look, see, I got different things that I've just started it, but I've got different, uh, some post, uh, post it notes in this one. And this one has um, more lists. I love lists. This is a thousand plus little things happy, successful people do differently. And apparently, Mark and Angel Chernoff, Chernoff, C H E R N O F F, have a blog. Um, I haven't gone to look at it, but apparently, um, they have a New York best selling Getting Back to Happy book. This is the first time I'd heard of them. And I saw this again. This was at Barnes and Noble. And it was in the uh, self-improvement section. And so, you know, these are the kind of books that you got to, they're not just going to be in a certain thing, like the flow books. All those flow books are in the, in the, in, in the uh, self-improvement section. They're not in the art section. So, you know, you got to kind of go look around. And this one is kind of cool. Let me tell you here. I just I just started looking at this one the other day. So they have ten, you know, five, six, ten, nineteen, twelve different uh, actions for each thing. For instance, let me just read part one. Part one is happiness, opening our eyes, five characteristic traits that make you happy, six ways to find gratitude when everything goes wrong, ten habits you must quit to be happy. Ten mistakes unhappy people make. Nine habits of super positive people. Nineteen quick tricks to feel better instantly. Twelve stressful things to stop tolerating. Nine, uh, ten actions that always bring happiness. Happiness questions that make you think. So that's part one. And there are, I think, nine, nine parts. So the different sections are happiness, adversity, relationship, self-love, passion and growth, producti productivity, goals and success, simplicity and inspiration. So, and then under each of those, they have, you know, six, 10, 12, 20 different things because there are a thousand plus little things. Pacola just put a link in the book, in the thing. Um, all right, let's just pick one here. Um, 10 mistakes unhappy people make. Let's go over there. Let's just see what that is. 16. Page 16. We'll just pick a random one here. Okay. 10 mistakes unhappy people make. Is this interesting to you guys? Y'all know I love me some books. Happiness is a choice. There are no excuses for not trying to make the very best out of your life. There are no excuses for living in a way that constantly makes you unhappy. Here are 10 unhappiness mistakes to avoid. Thinking you have already missed your chance. Now, I'm not going to read the paragraphs under each. I'm just going to read you the 10 things. And then, you know, I'm just going to read you the 10 things. Uh, thinking you've already missed your chance. Using failed relationships as an excuse. Changing who you are to satisfy others. Putting up with negative people and negative thinking. I'll read this one. It's time to walk away from all the drama and the people who create it. Surround yourself with those who make you smile. Love the people who treat you right and pray for the ones who don't. Forget the negative and focus on the positive. Life is too short to be anything but happy. Making mistakes and falling down is part of life, but getting back up and moving on is what living is all about. So that was putting up with negative people and negative thinking. Five, focus all your attention on another time and place. The, this day will never happen again. Enjoy it. Cherish your time. And, of course, I'm not going to read all of this. Overlooking what you have to focus on what you don't. That's one of the uh, ten mistakes unhappy people make. Uh, another mistake is dwelling on the things you can't change. Constantly sacrificing your own happiness for everyone else. Losing track of your own goals and ideals, dealing with the stress and the dealing with the stress of deceiving others, probably not in, in not being yourself. So there's that's just one of the one of the things. 
So, yeah, then nine habits of super positive people. All right, I'll read you these, and then I'll, that's, that's all I'll go through this. I mean, this book, you know, look, it's just got literally thousands of uh, things like this. Nine habits of super positive people. Wake up every morning with the idea that something wonderful is possible today. Celebrate your existence. Appreciate life's perfect moments. Embrace life's challenges. Become addicted to constant and never-ending self-improvement. Live and breathe the truth. Fill your own bucket. Help the people around you smile. Spend time with positive people. So the, those are, what was it called? Nine habits of super positive people. So there's just tons and tons of that. And these are the kind of things that I will write things down in my other book, <laughs> you know. So anyway, that is Mark and Angel Chernoff, ISBN 9780525544. Two, seven, four, two. So yeah, 1,000 plus little things. Happy, successful people do differently. All right, so I think that's all the um, books that I pulled to talk about uh, for inspiration. So I thought we would do a couple, like I'll do a couple quotes. Any, anything anybody else wants to see or talk about that I haven't mentioned? Uh, I want to show you, like, if we do, um, I did pull my positive quote book out in case I didn't have any. Um, uh, and nobody mentioned them on hand. So I have, uh, and see, I'll, I'll write in my books here. Uh, but I want to do the one from Prisma. And I did like the one in, uh, I did like these quotes on this poster. I might pull a couple of these like that Beatrix Potter one or the Salvador Dali. Um, so, yeah, I thought these were pretty good. Maybe do something from that or my positive quotes. And so what I wanted to do is to show you how you can do them on one of a, a small notebook paper, you know, whatever you, whatever size. Let me get a, a light one so you can see it here. <clears throat> and practice your lettering. This is just a little piece that I punched that can go in one of my books, one of my uh, disc journals. All right. So and I've been practicing, and I did even order me some more because I've been going through these like crazy. The Pentel Touch Food, food F-U-D-E Touch. Um, and I have these in multiple colors, but I've been really just practicing in black just to practice my uh, lettering. Because like I said before, I, you know, I've done calligraphy. I do, you know, different lettering with different pens and uh, different things. But I'm trying to train myself because I write. Let me see. Let me find a, another piece of paper. Let me get probably white so it shows up. This one's got a torn thing here. Okay. So um, when I write myself, I write like this. Now, I don't do this on camera because you never see. That's how I write that tiny. But I write up and down. See, I write I write vertical. I don't slant. Mom has the most beautiful slant. And I can do it. I mean, I, I've done it before. But when I'm writing and note taking, I generally don't write like this because it takes time. <laughs> it, takes, it takes more time. And I like to write fast. So I can write fast um, like this. But because I write like that, when I do my lettering, lettering one almost forces your hand to do an italics, right? When you're swooping and swirling and making fancy letters, you know, like here, let me take my food a here. Uh, it almost makes you want to. It makes you, now see, it's hard for me to slant now because I've been practicing the straight up and down. Um, it just, you want to slant your letters, right? I'll stop there. So what I'm trying to train myself is to do it straight up and down.
I don't know that people would think it's as pretty, but that's not what's important to me is for me to be able to do it this way. So I've been trying to practice this. And you, and you really want to write a little slower than I'm doing here. But it's uh, pressure on the downstroke, thin on the upstroke. You know, pressure on the downstroke and the pen bends. The pen will bend. Light on the upstroke, heavy on the downstroke. Light up, down, up, down. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to do my lettering like this. Hi, Michelle. You hung that poster on your wall, Colleen? Oh, good. The one from the book? Awesome. Okay, so Tammy says she got the book for $2.32. Thanks, Pocola. For the, I forget which one it was. Was it the small one, Tammy? Which one was it that was $2.32? Yay, guys. I'm glad y'all got some deals on them. So because I write straight up and down in my normal note-taking writing, I, I write like that. So I want to be able to do my brush lettering. And I say brush lettering loosely because it's not a brush. It's a plastic, you know, it's a, it's a, a flexible nib. And you can also do this kind of thing with, let me get, um, let me get a color here. Let's get this little bit of green show up. The super tips. Now it does take a little practice. But the, I love, because there's so many colors of the Crayola Super Tip, bullet type, they're super tips, they're fat. So you can get thin, you can get a medium, and you can get a wide, all off of one marker. That's why they're called super tips, I guess. So you can do the same type of lettering. But you, it, it does take a little bit more practice and flicking the wrist just right to get to do this. But you can do pressure down, thin up. Pressure down, thin up. And if you, you know, you just got to turn. But you can do it with these super tips. And then you have all the colors, right? Um, I usually don't try to write this small. I usually write a little bit bigger um, when I'm doing with these. You know, like I do a little bit bigger writing than that, but you get the idea. I know the super tips are awesome, and they're also good, like, for watercolor, guys. Like, you can uh, put, let me see, let me get a. porcelain here just something that I can show you on you can put your uh, super tips down on some non porous surface like porcelain or plastic like this and then you can take your water brush and you have a watercolor say it doesn't have to be a water brush it can be just a paintbrush but I'm just showing you that you can use them as watercolor too now, it's not going to work exactly the same if you try to put it like here and then try to get that to move out completely. Well, it's kind of doing it okay. It might be the paper. But depending on the paper, you usually can't get all the streaks out by putting it on the paper first. You want to put it on the on some plastic or porcelain first. But it's, you know, it's water-based. So you it's like you can move it around and use it like watercolor. So these, I love super tips for so many things. Um, underlining, you know, if they're light colors, you can highlight. I mean, just so many things. They don't usually bleed through. They usually don't bleed through. Um, the water's bleeding through a little bit, but you see it's not bleeding through. So they're, they're just really versatile. The Crayola super tips. Okay, so anyway, this is kind of the different things that I've been practicing with my lettering. So I am going to come over here, and I wanted to show you how, um, you know, I got all those stickers. I wanted to show you um, 
how you can incorporate. Let's see if we like um, Let's see how big of a thing. Um, all right, so I am going to show how you can do. All right, this uh, Picola's is my mind is a map. It, it goes all over. Well, she said, I think she did semicolon, goes all over the place. I'm going to put my mind is a map. It goes all over the place. I'm just going to do that. So, yeah, because I, cause I can. All right, so for instance, now you might want to pencil it out. If and, and I probably should pencil it out. Just so, because that's how you should do it. <laughs> I usually don't. I go for it. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But it's usually my personal, uh, it's in my personal notebooks. So I don't care if it's perfect. But I'm going to show you uh, how you should probably pencil it out. Okay. So for instance, I'm going to have the word map right here. Okay. So map. I'm going to, I'll show you in a minute. But you can do it with pencil where you can erase it. Oh. My and maybe I can do mind bigger is a map. It goes, it's kind of like sketch noting. How you know, I've talked about sketch noting, it goes all over. Uh, maybe I'll do all over the place. Okay. I know you can't always see it, but you want it light because you want to erase it. And then down here, I'll put Prisma. Okay, because that's who did it, who, who the quote is. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is how I'm going to address this. It already has this pretty little feather here. So I'm going to, right here in the middle, I'm going to erase the word map. And I'm going to take my big gold stickers that I just got. And I'm going to try to find the first sheet where the A is. Where's some, where some A's? And I, I am going to go ahead and throw these away. I showed y'all how much they cost. $7.99. I got them for $1.99. I don't keep, I don't keep these uh, packaging. But I kept them long enough to show you guys. Now I can throw them all away. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, let me find the A's here. So I'm going to start with an A because the word map is M-A-P. If I want to center something, then I'll take the A. Let's see, let me let me zoom in one more here. Good with the lighting. Maybe I need to brighten it just a little. Bye, Kenna. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. Welcome back anytime. Didi, did you bring Bob shopping with you on Tuesday? No, I didn't. I didn't film that. I didn't. No, it wasn't Tuesday morning. It was um, what you call it, uh, ho uh, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is where I got all the, these stickers on clearance. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. If y'all missed the beginning of the show. Hobby Lobby is having another clearance. And you could, you know, put a ruler down if you want to make sure this is straight. I'm not going to do all that. This is more for the idea for you guys to see how to do it rather than to do it perfectly. Uh, Hobby Lobby is clearancing out different sections. And they and different stores have different sections. My store had the posters. That's where I got this big poster that were 75% off. And then they had clearance out most of their stickers not all of them but a lot of them and a lot of them were gone by the time i got there yesterday so i just want to kind of show you how you can incorporate a couple different things so if you want this i turn it sideways i can line it up better um if you if you're afraid you can't line something up straight see i got that a little crooked but that's okay i want you <laughs> I'll, I'll tilt the b um is you can go high and low like put the m here the a a little lower and if you Tilt them, you know, do them all wonky. Then you don't notice that some are wonky. Uh, if you do them all wonky. Now let me do the, where's the P? There we go. So again, this is to show you the idea here. So I'll tilt the map a little bit, the P, I mean, because I made the M a little tilted. So, you, you know, take your time, do it how you want. 
why is this? Let me see. I got it's too much glare somehow. That's a little better. The sun's beating through the the blind. I didn't leave room for my. I had my mind written out in pencil, and I erased it, and then I put started putting mine. And I have to have my. Let me, let me go ahead and do this here. All right, so let's do this. What I wanted to do is incorporate both things. Now I couldn't fit it. Because it's her quote, i got to do it right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I want to show you how to use stickers and your writing. That was what I was trying to head toward. <clears throat> It'll probably be prettier on blue anyway. Okay, so let's go up here. You know, guys, I'm not looking at chat. I'm digging for stickers. Stickers. <laughs> And another way to line stickers up is to take your ruler, if you want them straight across, take your, take your plastic ruler. I'll do it on the word map, so I'll show you that. Okay. Nobody's asking me anything, so I guess we're good. My mind... Control. I'm sure that wait for a bit and then click on the line. Are y'all freezing? Am I seeing issues that I'm not aware of? <laughs> Trolls. Freezing. Are we good? Right here is too bright though. Let me let me turn that light on. It's a little better. Did I go away for a minute? Well, well I'm sorry guys. You know, can't really do much about it. Y'all are buffering records for you guys. All right. Don't know. I can't do it. It doesn't show me as being lagged or, you know, from my end, it doesn't show anything. From my end, it doesn't show anything. So I really don't know what to tell you. Sorry, guys. Yeah, refresh and then make sure if you refresh and go down to the little wheel and make sure you are set at 720 or 1080p because a lot of times it will default. Thank you, Christine. A lot of times it'll default back to 144 <laughs> and you got nothing then. All right, let me look for a P. And this may be something everybody's going, that's not so hard to figure out. Well, I just want to show you. So you can take your, uh, put your letters on a ruler like this, and then that way you can line it up. Okay. So you can find exactly where you want it to be and get it straight. Although my M is torn, so it's not on there straight. Um, I'll do this separate because I tore my M. <laughs> so you can line it up on your ruler like this and find exactly where you want it to be and then turn it down, tilt it down and push it down and then just roll it off like that and you'll have it lined up except when you tear your letters. <laughs> I think you get the idea. My mind is a mess. <laughs> Yeah, I tore my M. Okay, well. That. And again, if you want to make sure all your lines are straight, you can put a pencil line.
and then put place in the gold. Okay, then put place and I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it because I've already messed this up. I just want you to say, well, I guess I could do it. It's okay. I can still put it in my book. All right, so let me go ahead and put place in there. My mind is a map that goes all over the, and then P-L-A-C-E. So I'll do the A first in the middle. And again, you could, well, I could just do it on the ruler. I'll make it easier. I'll just do it on the ruler. That's how I used to do my scrapbook pages on a ruler like this. So you just line it. Don't let it touch your board there. So kind of tilt it up. Um, and even if you do, like I did mind up and down, even if you do the word place up and down, you can still do the same thing. So let's just do this. I'm trying to be a little quick. You don't have to be this quick when you're doing it yourself. I'm not liking that glare on there. I'm gonna have to move my. Um, I'm gonna have to move my uh, phone because look, that, that glare is bugging me. And the E, and then I'll stick it in a notebook so you can see. Okay, that's pretty good. So I did it a little bit up and down. Because it's all over the place. <laughs> okay. So then you just touch them down, then turn your ruler up and pull the ruler, and then you've got them all lined up. That makes sense? Okay, so my mind is a map that goes all over the place. And then I'm going to put down here, real little, I'm going to put Prisma as the person. I guess I could put Prisma Color Me. So that's her real, that's her handle. And then you can put this in your book. Or you can add more stickers. Let's see what else we could add. Oh, I'm sitting on the floor. All right, so let's space. So I'll make some space here. And see, so there's my practice sheet. I even like my practice sheet. Okay. <laughs> my mind is a gap that has no place, <laughs> Connie. All right, let me move this, guys. Let me, uh, I'm going to put something here. Let's see if I can, because that, that's really bad on the glare. There we go. <laughs> and then you can just hop it in your book. And I actually like this, too. I might pop that in my book. Just because I like the way it just kind of is random stuff on there. So, yeah, so you can do that and then put them in your books. And it doesn't have to be one of the discs books. It can be, um, it can be a um, notebook, your traveler's journal, your you know whatever book it is. All right, let's do one more. Um, let me see here. Here's um. So I'm gonna do it on one of these. This one has some white, I mean, pretty flowers on it. All right, so let's do this. Let's do. I'm just going to randomly write. I'm not going to pencil it, pencil line it in, but you probably want to. You probably want to pencil line it in. Are we still here, guys? Am I kind of too close? Let's see. No, there we go. And you can do stick other stickers like where's, uh, you know what I should do? The drama llama. Save the drama for your llama. What are those llama stickers? Let's do a llama. I don't know if the blue one will show up. I kind of like this one because it's got some bright colors. Let's do this one. So you can see, you can just use your stickers. 
Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. Okay. I should probably wait. Let's keep it on here for a minute because I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> save, the, save the drama for your llama. And again, you could put some stickers like save the drama for your llama, you know, kind of big. Um, this would probably be good with some darker stickers like blue or black. But I'm just going to write it. But you could use stickers too. Okay, thank you guys. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see. Again, you should probably want to plan it out a little. But I'm really trying to practice my, my, I say brush lettering. Again, it's a plastic flexible nib brush. <laughs> Save the drama for. Oh my goodness. And then maybe it needs a little plant or something up there, a little decoration. Let's put a little. <laughs> so you can make your own little sheets of quotes. <laughs> Anyway, guys, well, I think you get the idea. But it looks, they're fun in your note, they're fun in your notebook. And that's whether it's in a Traveler's or a uh, disc or a, you know, bigger, you can do it like a bigger. Let's see here. Let's get a piece of wood. So if you have, you know, your three ring binder type. Let me just put that something there so you can see it. Then you can do it in same kind of thing, but you can do it bigger. I don't know if this is going to show. And you can always stencil, stamp. I think I actually have a llama stamp. And make your own quote sheets like this. And then decorate them with flowers or draw on them or, you know, make your own little... Make your own decorations, use stickers or stencils or whatever. I mean, I'm showing y'all very basic things here, guys. I'm just kind of showing you some things to put in your idea collecting notebook. So if you got your, um, um, want to practice your lettering, this is a good way to do it, you know. Carve a llama. I could carve a llama. I'm not going to do it today, Mary, but I could carve. Didn't, haven't you carved a llama? 
Mary, have you not carved a llama before? What time is it? Do I have time to carve a llama? <laughs> Create some drama for your llama. <laughs> and then you, I can also do like, let's see. So if I put some secondary color, you could leave it like this, or you could take your water, you know, a brush and feather them together. But you, or you could just do half and half. And I should take a little more time because I'm. And there's all kinds of lettering tutorials, guys. All kinds of lettering tutorials on YouTube. Right, this needs a, a bit of flourish there. But play with your super tips. They're really fun. Enough drama, said the llama. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, do this just on cardstock or note, you know, a, a, a copy paper, you know, just. You know, you ink the edges. You can do lots of things. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all have been around crafting and stuff long enough. <laughs> but what I'm trying to show you guys is to save this kind of stuff in your three-ring binder, your disc journals, or your even your traveler's notebooks. Look, this would fit just fine in a traveler's. The size right there would fit, fit in a traveler's notebook. I could just cut this out. And glue that in or tack it in or tape it in, washi tape it in, a traveler's notebook. And then underneath, like cut this out here. Let's let's do this. I'll just show you. Let me find a random. Let me pick one. Hang on, guys. This one has notes in it from other things, but let me just get past all the notes just so you can kind of see. You can take one of, this is a sketch one, but I've got all kinds of notes in it. But anyway, just to show you what you can do, you can cut this out. Um, I should have measured. Oh, I'll just randomly cut. We'll just do this. Do it better or neater. But then you can put this in your um, Travelers. Oh, I like that back color, too. I kind of like, you know what? I'm almost wanting to put some of this color. Let's put some of this color here. This on top of it. I don't know why, but, <laughs> but anyway. And then you could washi tape this in. And lift it up and put all your drama under there. And you can cover up your drama. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I just want to kind of show you some different ideas. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see. What else? Let's see. Let's see. What else did I have? To show you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. I think I'm kind of kind of out of the, everything. Oh, let's let's pick. A, I'll pick another uh, two names out of the bowl. The ones that stayed here. 
All right, we're at 99 thumbs up. When we get to 100 thumbs up, I will pull a name from the ball. So somebody here has not given me a thumbs up. We'll pull, we'll pull two more names from the bowl. We already pulled two here. Um, where's the bowl? Okay, we're there. <laughs> All right, so we'll pull two more names from the bowl. Let me go ahead and back up here. Okay. I got those two. Get another sticky note to put them on. <laughs> All right, so I'm just kind of mix them up here. I'll pick two more. I just for if you're in the Society Idea Collector, your name is in here, unless you've already won a Society Idea Collector pull, then I take your name out. Uh, and it's just a little envelope. There's a lot more in here than it looks. Look, they're piled up. Um, and then. Um, I just send you a little envelope of goodies. Okay, so here, let's pull two names. Okay, Anna Burton. Anna Burton. And I'm trying not to look. I'm just going to kind of dig around. And Le Bookworm. Le Bookworm. Okay, so these four people, I'm going to send you a little envelope of goodies. In a little no, no numbers, guys. No numbers. This one is the Society of Idea Collectors. Yeah, this one's not just a random draw. This is people that are in the Society of Idea Collectors. <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> okay, so I'll send four people out. I already sent out the two that won on, was it Monday? Whenever I did it, last Friday? Anyway, I already sent them a little uh, uh, something out. Uh, so I'll send these four people something out. Because I'm in the process of doing... Lots of little watercolor stuff and lots of little things uh, for thank yous. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, here you go. This is good for any. This is good for any YouTuber <laughs> that has drama come to their channel. Oh my goodness! All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hi, recreations. Anybody I miss, Sarah. Uh, I know I've missed people coming in and out, but I tried to cover a lot of different ideas for you guys. Again, this was the poster out of the book cover, the book jacket from the flow. 50 ways to draw your beautiful ordinary life opens up into a poster. Um, okay, guys, thanks so much. Uh, I might do, I might, Hubster has a couple books he's been reading. I didn't show you. I've got four other books, maybe five other books that are not this kind of book. So maybe this weekend I'll get Hubster to do a book chat. But anyway, we'll see. So thanks everybody for being here. Appreciate it so much. Thanks for the thumbs up on the way out the door. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye-bye.